Yo, the podcast people listen one and only legend of one day, aka Low. On my left, I have my co-host, Agent Zero. Say what up? Greetings, young people. Mm. Behind the producer desk, we don't have producer John here, but we have Caleb. Maybe he'll join us later on. Say what's up, Caleb, though. I'm going to be John today. Fuck bitches, get money. That's okay. a fact, man. Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's so relatable. That is relatable. That's so relatable. Now, now, as you do that, though, you're going to have to also move the camera at the same time. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, I got this. I'm like, I'm already on it, man. I'm W producer. No, I mean, like, you're going to have to move when he comes. Yeah, I'm going to move oh, that camera. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, that camera's going to get moved. So, with that being said, though, the reason why we're going to make sure he moves the camera is because we have a very, very special guest. I normally don't say that, but today is a very, very special really? guest. Really? Yeah, I know, man. Who's the guest? Man, it's the one and only man killing the sports team right now. Wow, my goodness. King of King, the fourth King quarter. King of the fourth quarter. <laughs> Kimmy, Kimmy. Good to have you on, brother. Good to have you on, brother. Wow, what a message. Damn, 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 damn. damn. Man. Hey, man, appreciate you Woo. for joining us. I bet you had a long day. Long time coming, too, but yes, the yeah. day's been long. Yeah, it the day's is. Been long, bro. Man, every time you, you've came to the city, I've been like, man, Kenny, and you, you're so in and out. You be like, you fly in, by nighttime, you're out. Yep. You I like a good one-day trip, man. Me, too. Like I love. an hour flight from Chicago, so I come in in the morning, leave at night. But, you know, special occasion, so we're here. Facts. Hey, goodness, good man. to see you, And I'll be honest with you, one of the very few people I've wanted to interview, because... Um, Ironically enough, He's your a big career fan. path. Oh yeah, I am. A, I am He's a, a fan. huge fan. But he talks about you all the time. I camera. think he knows. That. I think he and the good way. Uh, I guess. I uh, no, I I guess. Guess. <laughs> go, 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 go. That's crazy. <laughs> um, but no, I say it because your career kind of um, mirrors almost both of ours in the same way. In, in many lights, I would argue better than mine. You know, but you did. You know your thing, man. So first and foremost, I had to ask the question before we even get too deep into it. Mm. How, like, how did you make the transition from 2K to sports and like as building as much as you're doing right hey. now? Because that to me is the biggest it's tough. accomplishment. I'm, I'm like the, one of the last OGs that's still doing 2K content. Like mm -hmm. I have a game in channel that I'm still uploading yeah. to. Um, Bro, I, it was very similar to this. Just starting a podcast, you know okay. what I'm saying? So we started Through the Wire Podcast. Boom. And I'm looking for people to, like, build on. I, I have, like, 250,000 subscribers. So I was doing all right at that point. Yeah. So I hit up the GM at House of Highlights. Like, yo, we got this podcast. You know, we had went, like, a year and a half. No visuals, just all audio. And it was doing all right. We about to go visual. Mm. So they say, word? Yeah, we about to go visual. Would y'all like in? So we'll give you three months. Turn that three months to six months. And turn that into, like, a full-time a uh, salary deal but I, people always ask like how the hell did you make it happen bro it was a lot of luck i'm gonna be honest with you okay right place right time talking to the right people good networking for sure and here we are all right, all right. Well, let's start from the beginning so people who are not familiar because I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. a lot of people know you for the sports and stuff like that. So tell us kind of how you started, where it all began, you know, and, and how you met a, a few of us along the Word, way. Yeah, so I think my first <laughs> video was like, this nigga, take that watch off, man. Oh, you got it. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? You know what's so crazy? I've lost seven pounds since we started the thing, and it low, it's low key looser. I know it's, it's not looser. fucking hugging your shit no more. Yeah, it's not right. hugging my shit no Wait, more. Now, actually, now it's like smacking. It's smacking the <laughs> shit. Yeah, it's actually low key loose. But you actually been like doing the diet thing? Yeah, for real. Oh, that's kind of why I'm be drinking. A, I'm drinking like shit ton of water right now. That's well, like, fantastic. What's your, what's your progress though? Like, how many? I just said how many, seven pounds. I just said is that. Like, when did you start though? When or what? Yeah, like what month? I, I forgot. Like a month ago, almost. Okay. Okay. Good for you, man. Yeah. Uh, Happy well, no, you. like for me, I didn't start exactly one day because I had to go to the doctor and get, I want to do like full straight up because I wanted to like do beyond yeah. 30 days or 90 days. So I went to the doctor and did everything. So for me, it's been about a little over two weeks. So that's just maybe, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So you're getting ready for the, the rematch for the box? Boxing, well, I'm not gonna rematch okay. him. I would smoke him in a real Why y'all lying? That's Can't dead. That's crazy. It's, he's just chatting right oh. now. I mean, it was that was S tier content right there. <laughs> it was. It was. It was. It was S tier. It was S tier. Did you ever see the video where they boxed? Of course. Of course. Yeah. Everybody. That was, that was, that was, that was, Who do you was think won? I think it was the right decision. No, I think. I think. It was, yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm being objective. You know, I thought. You know, I thought Asia did. Yeah, 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 you know. That's why you need. If that it was a real fight with real breaks and real gloves, you would have been smoked. You would have been smoked. Not even close. And then oh, that sounds like we got a rematch. Yeah, right? He's just talking then, right and now. And then a year later, it they wouldn't even be close anymore, brother. Oh, okay, all right. But anyway, your confidence is inspiring. Anywho, anyway, back mm -hmm. to you. So, uh, yeah, you turn you turn your love you turn your love for sports into a career, but like mm -hmm. in a very unique way. You know, a lot of people kind of have this cookie cutter mentality of what's possible, and right. they they usually think like Stephen A. Smith is like the only route. Where it's like, mm -hmm. well, let's get on TV and talk about my opinions of sport and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. But you went the podcast route, and the podcast is really. 
successful. How did you choose like, um, how did you choose like what direction to take the podcast? You have a lot of heads and each one I imagine is going to have their own creative vision for what to do. Yeah. Is there one of y'all that take the lead on decisions that are made? Do you guys have a voting process? Like working with a team and trying to build something is not the same thing as trying right. to build something on your own. It, at now it's more diplomatic, but at the beginning I was the only one with a channel that actually knew YouTube and mm -hmm. knew how to get people to listen. So I was very like, we got to do it like this. We got to have these type of segments. We got to do this and that. And now the guys kind of understand we don't have topics no more. We just pull up to the show. We just do our thing um but the podcast was just like step one and then like when i thought okay i'm in the door with house of highlights slash bleach report what else can i do and then i had this like can't say no mindset right mm -hmm. they like kenya it's a shoot in new york we need you to hold a camera bet i'm on my way mm -hmm. you know for the first year or so i didn't say no to no opportunity i just wanted to keep building up my name and then eventually they're like okay we got a whole show for you to host i'm like word you know, we got 10 episodes. We're going to fly you to, to Atlanta to interview Trey Young. We're going to fly you to LA to interview this guy, this guy, this guy. And then I think we're going on like year number three. And now I'm like, yeah, I'm past. I, I'm good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, no, I don't feel like doing it no more. But it's, did, again. Did Justin, that, was that hard? Like going from like something like small production yeah. to such a big Hell production? yeah. I didn't get on my first flight until that first shoot with Trey Young. Wow. Dead I was 22 years old. I'd never wow. been on the flight, never been out of the city. Damn. So it was like. Did this you get is, to Atlanta? This is big. Yeah. Yeah, my, your first one? My first oh, wow. trip was to what, Atlanta, what, man. What was the switch where you decided, like, okay, I, I got to start saying no to some shit? Oh, once that next salary came through. Mm. Well, you know what I'm saying? Once <laughs> the next contract hit and I put my, my name on that dotted line. Well, a lot of stuff I was doing was outside of my contract, honestly. Mm -hmm. I was doing stuff that I wasn't originally signed on to just for that. Mm -hmm. But now I'm like, okay, if it's not strict in my, my contract, I have the opportunity to say no mm -hmm. to these opportunities and stuff. Um, but it's it's been weird. You mentioned like the Stephen A. Smith thing. That was what I had in mind when I was do, going through this. A lot of it is trial and error, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to try something. If it worked, that's what we on to. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but I wanted to try to like help open the door for people to not have to go through journalism school and writing for 12 years before they get an opportunity. <laughs> yeah. And I know like based on what we do with the YouTube and shit, mm -hmm. it's going to be so many people after us. It's going to be like mega stars in the sports world. That's what mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. And I, hopefully I'm just like one of the pioneers to get to that point where you don't have to go through school. Well, you are. First of all, I want to thank you for saying no to a couple of opportunities, man. Cause they, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I saw you in the I studio. Was, I, was, I, was, I was in the studio. I've been, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't got a couple of opportunities from Bleacher Pro over the past couple of uh, few months. Now, you know, so I do thank you for saying no, <laughs> but saying, I hey, saying Lowe's eating on your nose. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's, that's, hey, my paycheck's still hey, the same. That's, that's, that's a fact. <laughs> but I, but even, even still, cause I, I, I appreciate you even because like you said, you pioneer, you open the door. I always say a lot of times like break, I don't know how you're doing it because many, Many times, not only you setting a blueprint, but you kind of walking into like a pitch dark room that nobody's mm -hmm. never been in before and kind of setting the groundwork and a lot of people just kind of following behind you. So I, I heavily appreciate that. Um, what is it like though? Cause now I think you, you definitely transitioned to mainstream right now. Bro. Yeah, it's been cool, man. You, Cause you walking up and I seen RJ was like, man, big fan of yours. Yeah, no, that was, that was a great moment, bro. Right. Um, the best thing about it is that the NBA community is so cool, right? Yeah. Like I haven't had a single interview. I'm like, this dude is a jackass, you know? So every single person's okay. come in and show love, but then you get the ones like RJ where it's like, he knows social media, yeah, you know, his does. TikTok is crazy. He making memes while he on TV. Um, so to have him do something like that means a lot. When I first talked to JJ Reddick, he said, I asked him a very specific question because I, I didn't really know. You know what I'm saying? I'm 5'7". Seven. My highest level of basketball <laughs> is uh, sophomore year B team. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, based on what I'm saying, do you think NBA players will respect me? Because I don't look like a traditional media person at this point because mm -hmm. a lot of NBA media is former NBA players. Mm -hmm. And I asked him, do you think they respect my opinion? He's like, you fucking Kenny Beecham. Yeah. I'm like, hey, mm. I know he was just saying that, but for me, I was like, word, nah, it ain't tough. nobody can tell me anything at yeah. that point. So shout, shout out to JJ, man. He gave me a lot of confidence. That's tough, man. It is tough. That is well, tough. Do you ever get nervous on a shoot? Like you, you you're interviewing uh, Trey Young, and like you're in Atlanta. Like, mm -hmm. did you ever? Do you ever feel like you got nervous and you didn't you didn't perform the way you should? have? I get or? nervous more for this type of stuff. Well, I'm not the person interviewing, but I'm the one getting interviewed. Really? Because wow. I don't. When I'm interviewing Trey Young, let's be honest, my prep is like remembering my question. I don't really have to do much more than that. Mm -hmm. But here, I mean, I kind of, I'm the one talking the most. Y'all asking the question, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but like when I sit down, again, like I said, everybody's been so cool. You can immediately tell, oh, this is about to be fun. Yeah, for sure. This is about to be fun. Yeah. Um, and and Trey, <laughs> Trey Young. that right now? Yeah, for sure. Good, I mean, good, good. I've been wanting to be on here for a long time. Like, good, like, good. Said. Coming, by the way. 
He is on the way. Okay, word. Yeah. He's a he's a reckless man. I don't okay. know if I've ever met John though. Okay. Yeah, you will, watched you the will meet him tonight. You yeah. Will. Yeah, okay. You'll meet him tonight. You'll meet him tonight. <laughs> he's a good fucking guy, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how you don't get scared because I I met um I met um Chuck before, but mm-hmm. I met Chuck Kenny and um Shaq the other day. First of all, Shaq is humongous. Crazy. That's, right? that's just that's a. <laughs> That's, that's a, <laughs> hey, pause, 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 pause. But that's that's another like level of like height that you never yeah. really witness until you're there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, kind of like I was like, okay. But no, they do play around a lot. So for sure. Was, like, so like when cool. I interviewed them, um, they stepped into the room. They said, "I can't believe y'all got kids interviewing me." Yeah, I'm like, where? Okay, I know they about to be joking and stuff. So yeah. it was like, yeah. I felt like I was a part of their show, really. Yeah, so I didn't sure. really have to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that first impression means a lot, in my opinion, especially yeah. when you're talking about top end talent. So yeah. shout out to them. You ever get tired of talking about sports? In particular, <laughs> basketball too. Not really. Um, as far as work goes, but like if I meet somebody on the street, they'd be like, What do you think about the Cavs this yeah. year? I'm like, fuck. What's your oh, thoughts man. on the Bulls, man? Ex- exactly. Being in Chicago, every time I go to a Bulls game, how the rest of the season can go, fuck, I don't know, man. In that sense, yeah, I get tired of it. But like <laughs> if a camera's on, I could talk about uh, basketball all, all of that all the okay, time. So that makes me really passionate simple. about it. I just get I get tired of the same teams, man. Like the Lakers like, every day. Like, I feel Jesus, like, all right, can we Cause I'll be, I'll be having like a, a nasty SGA take, but nobody even cares about. Nobody doesn't yeah. care about any of those takes at all. They just. What do you think about those takes? Have you ever, have you seen them? Of course he's. Of course I've seen. <laughs> I'm about okay. to say, come on. What do you think about those takes? Of course, hmm. of course. He's just like all of us. We've had some bad nah. ones. <laughs> have I? Yes. Have I? Yes. I, I mean, I've I can't. Had I can't take. What's, I can't the, think what's of the worst off, one that you've seen? I can't think of anything off the top. Exactly, man. I've had great takes, man. Oh great man, I I know for sure that's one. No, no, I've, uh, I've had bad takes, but yeah. I feel like I feel like there's like a handful of us yeah. that are like positive off of like take taking. Yeah, like how I many like positive our takes are. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like I fall under the umbrella like positive ones. You haven't been that way always, though. Mm-hmm. Right, you've had some like oh, well, some way out there, <laughs> but no, it's it's part of the game, right? You start off with like some crazy takes, you get people to start listening, and then you temper your way down a little bit. Yeah, I, I say because when I first started, it was very much so like just say whatever you think is going to say, mm-hmm. and then I got to the point where I don't even feel comfortable making videos in the first twenty games of the season because mm-hmm. it's like, what are we? What am I even? What am I going off of at this point? I feel that. I feel so that. like, yeah, I do. I personally don't like doing that. <laughs> he is lying man, right man. now. No, no, every, because not, my, every game makes a new story, like in new <laughs> fucking Twitter space. Yeah. No, 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 yeah, I'm not, I'm not, the I'm best not player Twitter, in the league. Yeah. A Twitter space That's is all fine. I feel my Twitter. No, wait, so my first me saying LeBron is not top fifteen right now. He's still not. I don't know if y'all saw that game that we just got done watching. Oh he's, he's still not. Wait, top fifteen in the league or like top fifteen of all time? No, he's got to be right now. Yeah, he can't be right now. He's second. Okay, you're just talking about right now. Yeah, right now. He is thirty nine. Kenny, who's the most underrated player in the NBA right now? Underrated. Who, okay, what's here of underrated we talk? Are we talking role player that we adding levels to my simple Cause, cause ass question? It's hard to answer stuff like that. Yeah. Um like who do you who, who do you see has got the most potential like over the next year? That's two different Ooh, questions. That's, that's, two, that's two different questions. But the the problem with a question like that is I'm gonna say something and I'm gonna mm-hmm. think about it for the rest of the show, mm-hmm. and in an hour I'm gonna be like, fuck, I should have said this too. Okay, okay, all right. Skip that question. Who's the most overrated? I can answer underrated though. It might actually be on um, Siakam. And I'm not just saying that because you, you asked I me, can't. But I think it actually is. Go the ahead, reason get, I get, can't get agree with that is because people that watch basketball know Siakam's a fucking bucket. But right? People who watch basketball would never underrate nobody because they watch the they watch basketball. Okay, I see. Okay, it's a good yeah. point. It's a good point. I mean, Siakam was All NBA last season. But it's, people, and I and I promise you, if you go on the street, I, I bet you the average person would right. not know that. You're right. Yeah, they're in a whole different even, 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 even right now, <laughs> even right now, like Siakam is like just playing a five and he's he really great defensively. So he's, he's, a, he's a rat. <laughs> Fuck. See, you, you exactly, you exactly, exactly, exactly. See, no, I said the average that person didn't know, bro. I nobody know. knows who plays on the, uh, the Raptors. Mm. Nobody. Yeah, I think I think it's Siakam. I think it's Siakam actually. But see, I have a crazy Siakam take, but I don't. Nobody doesn't want to hear it though. I want to hear it. Yeah, let's hear it. No, I think Siakam is. Uh, he fell off a little bit, but I feel he's like borderline top off. 10. He was injured. I feel he was like he's borderline top 10. Since he came back though. from injury, nothing has changed. He's been just completely. Yeah, I, mean, I think he's borderline top 10 player that has. I, I it is amazing to me that he's playing five I know. and he's like holding his own. Look at the Raptors in the beginning of the season when he got injured and then when he came back. It's night and day. Yeah. I don't think that's. You might get clowned for it, but that's not a t- terrible take. I don't think it is. Either. He wanted to come in. He said, I want to be top five this season. I think he's been close to top yeah, 10. He's, he's, yeah. He's, that's not bad. Well, t- now I'm thinking about top 10. It's kind of. It's a lot of people. If he's top 10, he's like literally number 10 mm-hmm. but I think he's like grossly underrated at his size playing a five switching defensively the playmaking is improved but he's nice mm-hmm. but what would Ronnie 2K say about that 
motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. If do you do you feel that. do you actually do you feel uncomfortable answering like overrated underrated questions because you feel like 100%. one day I'll meet these people? Oh, not not in that sense. No, oh, okay. um, I think people things get taken so much out of context. For example. Pascal Siakam Since we on this topic yeah. Second year in the league Me and the guys talk Are we doing our podcast mm-hmm. And we're talking about um, I don't even remember Exactly But I was just thinking About the Toronto Raptors roster And I say You can you can throw Pascal Siakam in there He ain't gonna be nothing Like just casually Talking to the yeah, guys yeah. And that gets sent to me Like once a month mm-hmm. If he get a, If he put a 40 That gets sent to me yeah. I don't even got dreads You have a fade That's how long ago it was And they, they send it to me All the time So for that reason Not so much As far as meeting people no, nah, I don't really care like that. Because oh, yeah. I, I would hope that people think that I'm just being objective. I'm not being a jackass if yeah, I say yeah. I make a take about you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Has anyone ever like called you out? No, thank God. No, okay. no, I never. It hasn't happened. Um, luckily, luckily. Yeah. Where do you get the um the drive, man? Because I, I would have to say, out of all the people who just create content, you're the one of the most consistent and high volume. And also like high quality as well. Okay. I, I tend, especially when it comes to like basketball, it is pretty hard at times to like not want to just sit down and just say something for the sake of saying something. Mm-hmm. Um, but even beyond just basketball, like you say, you still have a gaming channel, you still have a podcast. Mm-hmm. You got like two. <laughs> you have like two um, um, basketball channels, two or three of them, and then you still also do <laughs> VR stuff. And like you're yeah. down here right now. Yeah. Where where does that where does that come from? Like where is where does all that come from? Uh, I've always been a, a high highly driven person. My pops is a truck driver, and I used to see him leave for work at like three a.m. and he wouldn't come home until after I came home from school. So he's been Jeez. working 12, 13 hour shifts and stuff. Um, so he really put that in me and my siblings' mind. Like if you don't work, nobody working for you. For sure. So I always thought about that, and recently we had a baby, so it's like shit. Oh congratulations! Now I gotta like yeah. really, really go overdrive. So congrats, uh, congrats, congrats! But you know what? What I do is a lot different than what you do and some of the other people in NBA YouTube because I don't write scripts or put together I don't these long write pieces. Either. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I use graphics. How about that? My yeah, editing process. Well, my yeah. editing process is like send it off to Anthony. He'll give it back to me in like two hours. Like right. my it's it's very simplistic in what I do. I'm trying to get there, man. That's the second. You just gotta so do it. You just gotta turn on the camera. But see, I'll be afraid because I'll be like, I think the standards already been set of like the, like you said, almost like the scripted stuff mm-hmm. where everything is kind of like very structured. I do want to get to a point where I can just sit down and just shoot the shit and just talk type shit. That's but that's great though. I ain't because I, again, I think there's like very few people who have like just the constant drive and discipline to kind of just sit down, create the content, push it out, mm-hmm. and not just be like. Chatting or just doing it to do it type shit because I I do think the quality is there. Um, do, you, do you feel like very you, impressive? Do you feel like you like um, self taught that second gear or do you think you just was born with it? Probably just born with it, man. Like me, my cousins, everybody in our family, we saw the same shit. So we all like very driven people. Um, I'll tell you the hardest part about what I'm doing right now uh-huh. is keeping up with the gaming channel, man. It's fucking hard. <laughs> you, you got Games out early, right and now. I respect that. I was early. Yeah, I, mean, I, like I was late. Nah, I was about to say there's a couple people who got out sooner. Nah, like but Cash th- and them got out early. True, true. Yeah. Yeah. But I think you got out the perfect time though. Yeah. yeah. And the way you parlayed it into now your other ventures is dope. Um, I'm not there just yet. You know what I'm saying? I still. You feel like you need it? I wouldn't say I need it, nah, because the other channels do well again. Salary, bleach report, yada yada yada. But it is a good safety blanket. Yeah. Well, I know for sure. That's uh, 200,000 views mm-hmm. And that's a check You know Yeah um, But it's, it is rough as hell out there yeah, You think you lost your passion for it? What, on, on the 2K stuff? On the gaming stuff <laughs> Come on man <laughs> it's, been, it's been gone for way longer Than this cycle bro It's been gone for a minute um, yeah. But you know what What Obviously Me doing You know Still doing some decent numbers Are the reason it's alive But also when I When I meet people They don't say that's Kenny Beach And they still say that's KOT4Q Which Mm -hmm. is the gaming stuff Yeah So I'm like Okay if it's still Brightening people's day And it's still tolerable for me And it's still profitable for me I'll let it ride I'll let it ride But obviously What do you think Stole the passion The game's the same yeah, you in you in the my I'm gonna say, we, 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 we can get to that. Yes. 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 So yeah. y'all y'all two started in the same bubble, yeah, you know, what I'm saying? doing the rebuilds and yeah. stuff like yeah. that. The uh, I rebuilt the fuck out of a lot of teams. Man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. it's yeah. like six Wait, years counting now, too, right? <laughs> yeah, they both, they yeah, both. You've been rebuilding for half a hey, decade. Yeah, I know <laughs> you, bro. <laughs> You're everyone's favorite GM. I, I, was, I was trading Kenyon Martin yeah. and now his son in the league now. So yeah. it's, it's crazy. So, Kenyon, actually, let's talk about that because that's, 
for people who don't know you, that's that is kind of where you started on, mm-hmm. off of two K. Um, made a name um, with the rebuilding off of um, my gym or mm-hmm. however they whatever it used to be. But kind of um, walk us down that path. How did you start with that? And kind of build that up. I think I saw CSB upload a rebuilding video oh, first. Oh my god! Like, That's come on, man! Bad. For real. Mm. Um, uh, CSB. Because at first I was doing like normal two K stuff. I was going on the park. I was doing a little my team. I was taking with a lot of stuff. It's probably two K fourteen fifteen. Wow! Oh, like you started, started later than I thought of you. Yeah, yeah. No, I was around. Mm, we started around the same time. I think my first two K upload and content was two K twelve. That's what I thought as well. Two K twelve. Two K. But I saw CSB upload a rebound. I'm like, shit, he might be on or something. Mm. Um, so I always tip my hat to him whenever I talk to him or see him because he he legit like one of the OGs of what we do. And then, you know, generations after us are going to be doing the same. Actually, no, nobody's playing 2K. Nobody is. Uh, <laughs> There's actually a bunch, another wave of people pulling out right now. No, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, but so dead, actually. He, he did a video. Um, and I was like, I'll do that for the Bulls. People like that. I'm like, word, I'll do that for the Pacers. Then I do that for the Pistons. Okay, people tired of just the same team thing. How about we make it a challenge and so on and so forth and then we get to this point. Um, and I just tried, at least at that time, because, I mean, the the love for, like, growth at that time was at an all-time high. Mm-hmm. I'm talking yeah. a channel that had, like, 3,000 subscribers at that yeah. point, and I see a rebuild video, and in, in a week's time, I got another 1,000. I'm like, oh, snap. All right, what can I do to up that? What can I do to up that? Um, it's not the same no more, man. Yeah, it's just it's not, not the same. It's not. It's like once you do it one time, it's like, all right. Word. Now I want to do something else one, the, for, for the first time. Because right now I'm like cycling through the same challenges, just a new cycle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. did it in 2K22. Now I'm doing it in 2K23. Exactly. Um, but I try to spice it up a little bit. But at the end of the day, when I'm filming, I'm like, this shit is eerily <laughs> yeah. similar nah, to the last time. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how you do it because I started in... I started uploading 2K in 13, but I did my GM in 14 because mm-hmm. that's when it first came out. But I didn't know other people did it. I just thought nobody played that game. I was like, fuck it. I'll be the nigga that opposed this game. <laughs> right, right, right. And from 14, 15, 16, 17... At 17, I was like, yeah, bro, if I rebuild one more fucking team, <laughs> nigga, like, you yeah. better sub me in yeah. Yeah. next time a GM gets fired because I got this shit down packed. Yeah. I'm building super teams in two fucking weeks. It's flat yeah. on my league. Two right? trades and it's like, it's yeah. I can't believe it. Just, just hit those right balls like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm trading fucking Pascal Siakam for LeBron James Easily. somehow on yeah. the yeah. Red block. Yeah, no. And then boom, but like you just kept going. In my head, I thought like, is he miserable? Because <laughs> I was definitely miserable doing it. Like right. at the, the last year, I was like, yeah. And I, the fucked up part is I would see niggas on my team and other game modes having fun. Right, and yeah. I'd be like, and here I am on my GM, my league. And it, the, the game mode is so like, Soon tired that you you can't get the yell. You know, like Jesse's yeah. open the pack and go crazy. We yeah. don't have that same enthusiasm mm-hmm. in our community. We can't because I mean, you pull off a LeBron trade, like you said, we did it three times last week. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, but again, I mean, I'm, I'm still enjoying it enough, and it's beneficial enough to keep doing it. I do one big ass film day Mondays. I get my videos done and I send them off and I don't have to worry about them anymore. Oh, that's good, I, well, that's what I was actually going to ask you. Well, first, before we go to that point, yeah, I don't, he's underselling how depressed he was, bro. <laughs> when we was in Skype calls for two o'clock in the morning, he was like, bro, I got to figure out how I'm pivoting from this to part. Right, just, you know who I watched? LNU. Because yeah. he pivoted from Welcome my gym back, to by the way. Team. Yeah. Oh, yeah, facts. for facts. I, mean, I studied the fuck out of his channel. Yeah. But yeah. you was depressed, though. Yeah. <laughs> it I was, was like, blame you, man. how did they do it? How did they <laughs> How did they switch? How did they play it's, park? It's impossible. And well, well, not, not. You just it's did very it. Hard. And it's hard, though. It's hard as yeah. hell. Um, but I think some people try to do it amongst the same channel. And mm-hmm. I think that's not the right idea. Most of the time, it's not. It's not. And so I saw you just completely shut your game and channel down and say, hey, we're going to focus on playback. We're going to focus on the podcast, and AMP and all that but stuff. But he did transition from I went from my gym to He went to Park, yeah. He went to my gym to But like, my channel wasn't that big off my league. It, it got like 80,000 subscribers, 50,000, I think. Mm-hmm. But then, um, yeah, honestly, yeah. It, the, a pivot is possible. You just have to do it with momentum. Doing it without mm-hmm. momentum is like next to impossible. It's not impossible. It's just you had to be a hell of a strategist. During the transition, what was the video that was like, oh, shit? Was it the 100 points? I vividly remember. Yes, that's what it was. Nah, nah, nah. Because that's the one that came to mind. It was, was, I'm telling you, it's not. It was, uh, I made a video about NBA Live coming back in the summer before 2K17 dropped. Mm. And it hit 100,000 views. I was like, hold the fuck up. I will say this. As a fan, my first video of you was the Legend of Dum Dum. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was in that same season though. Yeah. When seventeen came out. When yeah. No, but it was I think I think it was the the hundred point challenges that you kept putting out. Yeah, yeah like those, were those were fire gameplay. Yeah, I remember I watching those. Like, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> and behind the scenes, they were mad depressing. <laughs> really? This nigga's young. For as this set, nigga, set the screen. Set the screen. Uh, <laughs> like, run me my fucking screen, nigga. <laughs> we'll be, we'll and be, grab we, a rebound we'll if I miss. The crazy, the crazy part about it is the first one we did was like so natural. And like playing with him, you're like, man, this is great, man. Yeah. I can't let him go. Let him right, go. Right. We got like three, four videos in. He's like, come on, man, get the screen. Come on, let's get the screen. Come on, get the screen. Then we can't even play no regular games. But I didn't start games like that. No, that's what I was about to say. Then move. Then it was like. I was crossing my fingers hoping that he didn't get hot in the uh, beginning of the okay. game. Because right. then at right. that point, yeah. if he got hot, it was like, like, hey, I guess we're already here, right? <laughs> Can I get 81? Right. Can I get 90? I was like, okay. Facts. I was going to ask. Um, so, like, you're pretty much doing all this stuff, like, the first one to do most of the stuff, like, the transition to, like, mainstream and mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. What was, like, the scariest part, I guess, like, a future-wise that you kind of was, like, you know, everything was, like, there was no path there, so you kind of had to create it. What was like the hardest thing you like? I guess you established or yeah. pioneered. Yeah, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, the basically what I do on, on one of my channels is just sit to the camera and talk about hoops. That was something I don't think anybody was doing. I don't. I can't say anybody because I don't know the entire community, but it felt like NBA YouTube was like, like, like we mentioned, write a script. Let's get some graphics, and I'm just. All right, what's good, y'all? Let's was, was talk about the games tonight. Or his, his underrated, overrated, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and, and nobody's really doing that. Because I uh, I dropped out of school, bro. I, yeah. I don't have the attention right, span to, really. we all to yeah. write all of that. You know, yeah. I couldn't do it. Yeah. So it's like, how can I talk about hoops without being like ultra professional and doing... Um, basically, because Mike Krizimba was doing the What If videos. That was popping the he fuck was, And that was scripted. And then um, it's not a shut knock, but yeah, like you said, like mm-hmm. to just to prep it's a, a lot video, of work. It's a lot of work. To, it's, a, it's a lot of work to even get to a video. Stats and things of that sort. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then um, and then the research and all that stuff. Then who else is around that time? I, I forgot. I ain't gonna lie. Me and Bezos is upset though when you start doing that. Like in a positive, he was like, "Man, this this man can just cut a." You know what it was? It was on. it was COVID, bro. COVID had us locked up in them doors. It's like I just got to do something, man. Yeah. So I I just put a green screen behind me during the bubble, and I just talked about the games that happened in the bubble for like twenty minutes straight. And I was like, shit, that shit had like a hundred thousand views. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, work. Let's let's just do that over and over. And eventually, I was like, we don't need the green screen. I got this whole set I built in my basement. Let's just do it like that. Yeah. Um. So I just a lot of times I'm just throwing stuff at the wall, and if it's stick, I'm like, we gonna we gonna attach on to that. Let's improve that. Let's do it like that. You talk just like Lupe Fiasco. Chicago, baby. Yeah, I've been thinking it this whole podcast. I, Chicago, say, I couldn't hold it in any longer. So anyway. you, think, you think it's more about like <laughs> Jesus, or like one to one too? A lot of what I've done is pure coincidence and accident. I disagree with you. I think that I always say like if you're really good, you get lucky more. Like is like you can get lucky, Perfect. and then a lot of people don't take advantage of it. But mm-hmm. if you're good enough, you'll keep getting s- some opportunities. You know, there's no way to know when the fuck is gonna arrive. Right. But like you talked about at the beginning, some of it is just networking. Some of it is just mm-hmm. like they have to see what you're doing and be like, oh, this guy's good. Right. Like he'll be good for it. So um, yeah, what, congratulations on that. What does it work? We look like you because you you kind of kind of um, saying it, but like you saying in the beginning Monday, you kind of just. Do a lot What's of the, a Monday like my GMs. Mon- and, Monday is uh gaming channel stuff. So I wake up, you know, <laughs> eat breakfast, and I'm going to the room and I'm filming for like six hours, maybe. God, um, I know, <laughs> I know, yeah, I know. 2K straight, 2K for six <laughs> hours. Straight. But, but once you think about it, it's not that bad because it's one day, it's one day. I feel you, I feel you. Uh, you you get it all done, and you have to worry about it until the next but Monday. A six hour shift of my league sounds like it, it is. It, it can be. Hell. I ain't gonna lie. Ronnie owes you money because <laughs> <laughs> playing my league for six hours straight is crazy. It it works though. Um, and then later that day we watch the games. We talk about the games. Tuesday we got the pie. We shoot whatever IRL stuff that we we doing for that for that week. And um, but you know what I always say? I kind of pride myself on not being as busy as you think I am. Where like I'm getting a bulk of my work done, so I'm chilling with my daughter more than you think I would. And when you think about a guy that has five channels to upload almost every day, yeah. you would think I'm in the lab all the time when I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I get my work done and I'm with I'm with my family. But how? I mean, how does how does the post game talk happen? Because I'm I mean, watch the games, and you know I'm doing that with Avery on my on my lap. You know we watching basketball yeah. together, and then once the last game is up, it's like all right, you going to bed? Let me let me start filming this. It's very simple, man. It's, How comfortable it, did you feel like? Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Brian, what the fuck? 
Yes, nigga. That's right. how you get killed. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I was. It was over with for me. You're very, you're it very was lucky. Over with for me, Walid bro. Walid isn't here. Huh? <laughs> you're very lucky. Walid is not here. Nah, he may. He may have heard that and pulled up. Yeah, I know. It was over with. <laughs> just, I froze up. I ain't gonna lie. Fog lights went off. Fog lights. Like damn. I knew I should have got on that flight. So you yeah, got to the crib. Tough. No. Uh, <laughs> this portion of the podcast is brought to you by Rocket Money. Hey, man, has there ever been a time when you uh, got a bunch of subscriptions, Hulu, Netflix, you sitting there paying for stuff that you don't really even need? You need somebody to help you manage it out, especially because you just waste the money every single month. Well, don't worry because Rocket Money has you covered, formerly known as True Bill. Rocket Money is an app where all in one place has all your subscriptions. You got to categorize for you, explain how often you use it, how much money you spend on it, and to make it even easier when it's time to cancel. Because we all know for a fact, you know, you try to do that free trial for the first 30 days and it didn't work out. So you're trying to cancel it. They make it such a hassle on those applications, but Rocket Money makes it extremely easy for you to cancel at any time as well. This right here is a really great platform for you to organize and structure your money, your finances, because I know for a fact we're all just wasting money on a month-to-month basis. And even if you don't want to cancel it, it's still great to understand how much money you're spending on certain things like subscriptions that you have on a month-to-month basis so you can get a better understanding of your finances. Get rid of useless subscriptions with Rocket Money now. Go to rocketmoney.com slash peer-to-peer. Seriously, it can save you hundreds per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash peer-to-peer. Cancel your unnecessary subscriptions right now with rocketmoney.com slash peer-to-peer. Again, you stay with Rocket Get money for sponsoring this portion of the podcast. What is so? How comfortable did you? Because I know that's something else I noticed that you do. Like you upload much later than most people do. Like you, you. So this time you upload like at midnight sometimes. Yeah. and I was like, I kind of cut that out now. Um, it's just bad. It was <laughs> every video started off at ten to ten, and then yeah. once you get people start waking up, it start doing better. So I kind of cut that out. Um, but in the time. Nobody was going to school like when it was really working during COVID and stuff. Nobody's yeah. going to school the next day. So I, I felt cool with it. But recently, it don't even make sense no more. So I'll, I'll record that video and hope nothing happened overnight, like a big ass trade Not or some sure. rumors, and just upload it the next morning. Hmm. All right. Morning uploads. Yeah. That's cool, though, because a lot of people wake up and they used to watch like fucking ESPN and shit. Mm-hmm. Now they watch Kenny. The, you know what? I got big inspiration from GMM. Good mythical, uh, good mythical yeah, 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 yeah. morning. Oh, they upload their videos like 5 a.m. Mm-hmm. They like, when you wake up, you getting ready for school, you watching GMM. And I was like, oh, okay, bet. I'm going to try to do that for the NBA talk. Um, it's worked, I guess, a little bit. Yeah, for sure. At least a little bit. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> as, as you continue to progress and grow, is there any, like, expectations or things that you see in the horizon? Or is it still, even at this stage, still kind of like just throwing shit on the wall? Uh, I won't... <laughs> I, I was given the green light on some stuff that'll be coming to fruition soon, uh, which is really cool. That has always been my dream when it comes to like content creation mm-hmm. and uh, NBA talk. Um, but that's like, you know, like when I was a shorty, I used to watch the game, the Bulls games to turn off the sound. Right, I was doing play by play. You know what I'm saying? I want, mm-hmm. I always wanted to talk sports. I just didn't know to what capacity. Um, and now it's like YouTube is. F- it's, it's crazy. I'm on this show for like a therapy session. Um, <laughs> YouTube has kind of lost its spark a little bit, if that makes sense. Um, but I think it's mostly because the content that I do is so narrow, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm doing KOT for Q, mm-hmm. my league, and I'm just talking about hoops. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So because of that, I was like, okay, let's think bigger. Mm. Let's think bigger than just doing in, in your in your basement talking basketball. What else can we do? Okay, that's what you're saying, yeah. Um, it's amazing it works. So, you know, we working. Mm-hmm. We working. That's the, that's the next step. I feel like a okay. large ceiling and like when something becomes routine and predictable, it just becomes l- disinteresting. Yeah, definitely. Because it's like, what is the aspiration if like this is all it's going to be, then it's just, I don't know. It's, it's hard to get excited about something yeah. that's not, you know, maybe I'm just too ambitious, but. No, head, I don't know if that's a such thing. Yeah. In my head, I'm like, okay, well, we have this thing. A&P mm-hmm. is not just a thing to be a group. But how do we become the biggest group? Well, that's a good challenge. And it's one worth, you know, pursuing. So then how do you get there? You just yeah. make a lot of moves. You make a lot of. So, yeah, that's cool, though. Um, I don't know what you're talking about yet. Uh, what, whatever <laughs> this move is, but I bet it's something exciting. It will help, though, because playback helped me in that capacity. Really? Yeah, because just waking up and just talking basketball after a while was mm-hmm. like, yeah, like it's, it was cool. It was fun. But now, like it just takes takes you away from it, and then when you get back, you're like, wow, I really actually want to talk hoops again because it's got done making fun. I feel of like yeah. for like two or three hours straight. Because sometimes <laughs> you watch the games, 
and you're thinking about it from a work perspective rather than just like a fan of the game perspective. Yeah. And that can definitely oh, do I it. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. I, can't, I can't really watch basketball anymore <laughs> outside of a work perspective. Let's be honest, though, Kenny. Let's mm -hmm. be honest. Give me a percentage, man. How many games you watch, man? Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Be honest with if, you. if if there is an eleven game slate, and I don't know what Adam Silver is doing with that, which he does it. We have eleven on one date and two on the next. Yeah, I don't know what that. Was if about. it's an eleven game slate, I'm usually browsing through majority of those games. The only main staple game is the Bulls. If the Bulls are on, I'm watching the Bulls. It's on main TV. Okay. But the other, you know, used to, they used to have a quad box on NBA.com, yeah. and I just have four games up on this monitor than the rest of the games over here. Mm -hmm. But it makes it. Damn near impossible to it watch is, yeah. because you're trying to tune in here, you're trying to tune in there, you're trying to that. It's, it's impossible. So what I've decided to do for this season is if there's 11 a game slate, I'm picking four of those games and we are gonna watch okay. those into entirety. That's what we are. Okay. And then okay. if one of those other games is close with five minutes left, we'll tune into that one for okay. the last five minutes. That's what I'm on to. Um, because you be on there talking on Twitter, I'll be like, man, how? I don't know how this nigga caught SGA and then caught CIA hey, and then caught it, it can, Fox. It can like, be rough, bro. There's no way. I was like, bro, how the hell you just caught three different games at one time? But you know what? I, I find pleasure in that, though. Okay. Like being there for the moments. Yeah, for sure. I, I've For the last two seasons, I've never woke up and be like, damn, I missed a game winner? Or I missed a crazy dunk? Because I'm always in there live. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, that makes it fun. Because I think it changes the perspective of the game once you're there live rather than watching a highlight reel or something. You don't mm. sleep till like two then, right? Because if you have to watch all the games to West Coast and you make videos about mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. No, so when do you usually sleep? Two, three? Uh, more like 1, 1.30ish. 1.30ish, wake up at eight. All right, get back oh. to it. Oh, I'm Chicago's central. in I'm there. Central. Yeah, my dad, okay, yeah. Okay. so I'm an hour behind y'all right now. Because oh, okay, okay. here, the, like, the Lakers game in at like, tw the West Coast game in at like 12, 30, 1 o'clock. Like, yeah. Okay. But yeah, you're right. Oh, that makes more sense, man. Yeah, some of those games are whack, though. I, I'm quick to turn the game <laughs> off on God. I'm, I'm quick to turn it off. And I'll just be like, hey, you catch me tomorrow. Hey, no 40 point blowouts from the Suns, boy. I'll be like, yeah. we gotta pack this But up you know, quick, that's man. one of the ones that I'm watching. It's a home game. You're losing by 40. Let me see the crowd. Let me see what the coach is looking at. You know what I'm saying? Did you see what just happened tonight? I did see what happened that tonight. That was hilarious. Yeah. What yeah. happened tonight? Zion, first of all, it was windmill, right? ridiculous. The windmill, but yep. then Chris Paul, he's like, "No, we're not having that, man." And they almost got into a fight. I hate the fake fights, though. I do hate the fight. Oh my god, fights. you're not doing nothing. Yeah, Zion is six Zion six two ninety. <laughs> what is you on, bro? CCP <laughs> is pushing forty, but go up against a twenty three. You know what it really man. was though? Chris Paul had his best game of the season, and he got overshadowed because they yeah, lost. Yeah, it's like ah. Also, uh, he smoked a layup before he um, yeah. did that windmill dunk. And it was, <laughs> we we, was really we love Chris Paul, though. <laughs> we love Chris Paul around here. Who was your Thanks. favorite player? Chris Paul. <laughs> no, oh, it uh, is? Chris Paul is my favorite player of all time. All time? All time. Wow. I, yeah. I thought I was going to say non-bull, but... It's Chris Paul, man. I watched him when he was in New Orleans slash whatever uh, with the Hornets. Mm -hmm. And I was like, damn, he like 6'3", maybe. And he control the he's game not. as if he's a like, like LeBron. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously, not with the pure no, dominance no, sure, like Bron, yeah. but, like, he set the tempo. He going to get some steals. He going to play defense. And then his teams was winning hella games back then. Never parlayed to nothing more than some regular season wins, but it was, it's always been fun. No, for sure, for sure. Kind of sucks that he going down that path, though. Father which, time, bro. Which, which? Oh, that yeah, he old. I don't think so. I'm, I, I personally find, um, I don't know, I find it interesting to watch um, players age. The only reason why is because, I guess, my... Um, my Kobe infatuation because I think I, I took that even that stage of his career a bit for granted mm -hmm. and just seeing like Kobe um not Kobe excuse me CP and Braun still like perform like yeah. even at that because especially after I see like older players like I just like when I saw Kenny and them and Shaq first of all Kenny's knees is cooked it's over with it's, it's over, over with. with it's done yeah I know like, that's bow, the first thing I noticed when I saw I, know, too. I, I swear to God bow legged is not even like. His knee is like it's his over. knees are touching one another the way he like it's it's pretty bad, and then also to see Shaq and Barkley like the way they walk mm -hmm. is like also done. But I say that because it's like very like <laughs> are you talking about the TNT squad? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Kenny knees is done. <laughs> Kenny Kenny's knees are they they finished. Got it. The Jet boy, they, they, that's over with, man. They, they're touching. They're done. Yeah. So to see that to see that though, I say that because like to even see Braun go out there, even like mm. just shoot up and put up twenty five at his age is like very impressive. Some we take for granted, man. Yeah, you take it for granted. Definitely um, take it for granted. I I do also had the, the other question I had to ask, just from a basketball perspective. Mm -hmm. And I know you told us not to ask. We'll just ask anyway. Okay. Man. Why? What's up with your Bulls, man? What's going on, man? Uh, see, I've been team. Uh, let's restart all season long. 
But you know what? Look, look. Here go the bright spots about the Bulls season. Because I know people going to tweet at me after this. We had the toughest schedule in all of basketball. Mm, that's by, by a wide I margin. Hate, I, hate, I think I it was a tough schedule, too. I, I hate me, that me too. Me too. Me too. Because I'm watching these games. I'm like, you could have won that. It don't matter that they're better than you are. That That's the silver lining of this song. But the fact that this man Lonzo can't walk upstairs, yeah, I know, That's it's crazy. Not. He's not. He can't walk upstairs. Demar is still efficient, but he don't have the same punch that he did last season. Mm-hmm. Zach Levine needs are starting to turn a little bit, and Avusa is trades the worst trade in the last ten years. Let's just be honest. For y'all. For, for yeah, as a fan, yeah. I'm I'm pissed about that trade. That is one of our worst trades in the NBA in the past four or five years. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Which one? The Vucevic trade. Yeah. They traded Vucevic. Paul George trade is worse. Which, that's, that's which another Paul one. George trade? <laughs> the one uh, for SJ. Yeah. That's going to be up there once that I is, said that it. Will be that's going to be all time worse. Yeah. Because yes. yeah. Kawhi, <laughs> so he's barely They don't want to tell you, that's yeah. the worst trade in the yeah. NBA. No, facts. facts. I, I'll be honest with you, even if they win. Because <laughs> even if they win, see, I don't know if I can get no, that. They gave, up, they gave up so many they draft the picks to 2026. And a superstar. And SGA. Superstar, yeah. And SGA right now is and better than Canadian, too. He has been. He's Canadian. So I forget about No, the Vujovic trade is pretty bad, though. Yeah. It would be better if he was playing nearly as good as he was then, but he's like a third of the player he was then. And then Wendell Carter is playing Tough. nearly as not just as good, but nearly as good. Wendell Carter has been better this season. And then I you gave up a pick that turned into Franz. And then the pick for this season. And the pick this year. And and we suck. So yeah. it's like, hey, what, what's going on? That is, that is quickly becoming one of the worst trades. Yeah. The only way they can parlay it to not as not being as bad is if we sell and mm-hmm. then we keep that pick. It's top four protected. Mm-hmm. And right now we have the seventh highest odds. It's not too late to like flip to the, do the season to be bad enough to Might keep as that well thing. just be awful. That's what I think. But I think that the front office <laughs> is so prideful because they just made the Vucevic trade two years ago. Yeah, you trying okay. to say we're going to give up already? Not on this draft class. I mean, that's what I'm saying. But they, I don't think they're going to sell. So we're just going to be me- mediocre. It's going to be mediocre. You're not on this draft class. Absolutely just not. A, just a quick, yo, just a spoiler. I have a video coming out called like, like teams that need to hit the teams that need to hit the panic button. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all are up there. Yeah, we should be number one. Yeah, y'all. should be number one. <laughs> y'all should be on they the built the team to win now, and they don't win now. Like what? The, they, the, yeah, no, nah, y'all need to be up there. That negative when the big three is on the court, it ain't it ain't good. But I'm still watching every game. Yeah, I still enjoy it. I still got hella love for all the players and and everybody within the organization. But I I got to be objective when I talk about them, man. How did that happen? How did the relationship with Chicago, the Bulls? It actually? started off with those bu- those bubble videos, bro. Oh, for real? Okay. So I used to be a season ticket holder. Okay. This is Jim Boylan days. We were ass. We were winning 24, Ooh, wow. 24 games. And I was driving my ass an hour to the city. Huh? How much did I pay you? The Bulls? Yeah, for the tickets. I was I was a season I was paying them. Oh, that's crazy. No. Yeah, but they were so bad they should have been paying you. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm driving my ass in the cold winters of Season's Chicago to a losing team. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. This is depressing. And in, in the cold in the cold in winters, the cold you're driving, winter, I'm driving to the city <laughs> of Chicago the like on a nine game losing streak. And just Kenny, just with, with signs, bro. The I'm the there. Let's get it. What's the, the signs? Is crazy. With signs, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you couldn't convince me, bro. I had to put together a couple wins before. I was. I was the list is so long to get the actual tickets. Yeah. I signed up when the Bulls are okay. I signed up the year that um, Dwayne Wade and Rondo were there. Mm. So the year we were the eighth seed okay. and almost beat the the Celtics, that, the Celtics right? right. Yeah. So I signed up then. Didn't think I'd ever get a call back. They called me back that <sighs> season. I'm like, yeah, we suck. But it's season tickets for you, the team you grew up watching. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm down. Can I ask how expensive it was? Um, for two tickets in the seats I had, it was 15 grand. Fifteen grand oh, over the whole season for the whole season. Oh. So it's uh, four, 41 tickets. Okay. Well, I'm yeah, eighty two tickets because it's two seats. Um, oh well, yeah, yeah. So it was it was all right. Okay, so anyway. so so if it's just one, it's about seven, seven, yeah. eight thousand. And it was good tickets. It was right with a home team come out. You know, I'm fifteen thousand. Fifteen for two tickets for, for forty one games. Yeah. So 82, 82 tickets. And I, I thought I was getting a deal at that time. You know what I'm saying? You were bringing somebody with you? Mm-hmm. Every oh, I would sell them or try to sell them. But they oh, sucked, so nobody was buying. It. Nobody was buying. It. So I was like giving them away. I was hitting the group chat. We want to go to the Bulls game, and people. Would get, but so I was dr- driving what to the guy. city. People say no, no, no. <laughs> no. Unless it was like Braun is in town or somebody else in town. Everybody's like, no, nah, we good. So you paid fifteen thousand for a losing team. I did <laughs> for a season, and then the season after that, they was good again. Mm. How much was it there? I don't know. I said no. Oh. I ain't want to come back because I didn't know we was gonna be good again. Mm-hmm. I didn't know they was about to trade for Demar or tra- Man, do all of that stuff. Fifteen bands the next season. <laughs> but I think no. I think yeah. they give you a discount once you're there for the first year. Oh, okay. Like a probably not. They owe you five percent. Uh, but I so I'm a season ticket holder, right? 
driving to these games, watching us lose, mad as hell. Fifteen thousand. <laughs> all, right, all right, we good on the base day. Right. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that is a lot. That's it a is it's a lot. It's a lot of money. <laughs> that's a commitment, right there. Uh, <laughs> that, that's when y'all see the, the hour when y'all see the drive, that's what makes yeah, it crazy. Yeah, the drive, the drive yeah. also they had me sick. Yeah. Um, so they called me during the bubble, like, hey, we're just trying to see if you want to renew these tickets. And, and the lady name is Jen. I've met Jen like a hundred times at this point. But at the time, I didn't know her. Yeah. And I ain't want to go off on Jen, but it's saying Jim Boylan is still a coach, yeah. and the team is just ass. So I tell Jen like, no, I'm I'm good. You know what I'm saying? And she asked me why, and I wanted to tell her like the real reason. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to tell her the real reason, but I was like, Jen, don't worry about it. And I said that in one of my videos. Yeah. And the Bulls somehow saw that, um, and like, oh, we got to get Kenny to a game. We got to get him to meet Jen, and we got to do this and that. And then the channel was still growing at this point, and they like, oh shit, he do YouTube, and it's it's growing, it's growing, it's growing. And like, all right, let's work together. So the season after that, um, you know, every single team do those season uh, like, dates yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff like that. Idea. They wanted me to star and they shit. Mm -hmm. It was like a Twitter video. Oh, I'm like, wow. I'm, I'm going, I'm there. Me and Benny do some, I don't even remember what it was, some stuff. Um, and we just had a real good relationship since then. You know what I'm saying? So anytime they have a content day, I'm there. Anytime they have a drop, I'm there. They, we just did that drop. There was a collaboration with Bleach Report. Yeah. That was like my own line with the Bulls. It was fucking That's great. Like, uh, uh, um but they, like, I tell the people in that office all the time, like the content team, don't watch my videos be because I can be kind of harsh on the Bulls. Mm. But also, I remember that they fans, too. So they probably did the same shit I am. They yeah. just happen to work for the organization. Those are my guys, though, man. They do how great do things. How do you do that, man? Because I need, I, need, I, need, I need tips from you, man. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you criticize people without coming across as an asshole? Because that's what I'm struggling with right now. Here go, here go to here, this is how you do it, low. The way you do it, you say two positive things before you say the negative. I hate that. I, it works, though. Say two positive before you say the negative. Hey, once, it, once it, we're talking about getting to the basket, nobody better than him. You know what I'm saying? He got the left hand hook, the right hand hook, and then you can say, he shoot 12% from three. You need to stop <laughs> shooting that shit. And nobody cares. You just gave his main praise. You gave him praise. <laughs> that, that's the way I work around it, bro. That's I, where I work I can't. I think I'm too, I'm, I think I'm too deep in now. <laughs> But Especially I think, because, like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that's a pretty, that's pretty crazy. It that's worked. Crazy. I'm telling you, it worked. I ain't gonna because now people just know me as like he's a negative guy. Yeah, he's yeah. like he's a guy that's negative. Now, also, some people view it as, but he's also the guy who's real. So, like, there's also a subsection of people who like mm -hmm. he gonna say what he really on his mind, mm -hmm. and they respect it for that. But there's a lot of people who are just like prepared for me to be wrong. Yeah, so to be like, well, at the end of the day, you know, we talk about sports. You know, so it's a controversial thing in itself, and you're not gonna please everybody. That is fair, yeah. So if you true. you just do what you do, yeah. you going people gonna find it if they like it or hate it. You are gonna get people to watch it regardless. Yeah. Um. And I think we need people that are maybe more hypercritical than like what I am. I think it balances everything out for sure. Like, I I can make a Lakers video. My Lakers video would feel and sound completely different to yours. I know, and it might be almost the same thing that we were saying too. That's the crazy part. Yeah, that did no, That's that is the super crazy part. That's, crazy that's part. just the way it is, you know. I'm telling you, if you do the two before and then the one negative, mm, mm, you're gonna be fine. You can you do that fine. for season tickets? <laughs> How would you do that for fifteen thousand? Hey man, hey man, it's cool, bro. You know why? Because I got to meet all of those people. Mm. It was a season ticket only person. Like one on one thing was dope. That's how I'm gonna make sure yeah, I, right. I, I got my money back. Uh, <laughs> Good. I know. I w know. coat, man. Yeah. Way to coat. Yeah. What is it? What does it feel like working with your, your brothers? You know, because it's not like you know, uh, through mm -hmm. the wire, one of the best um, sports podcasts out there. One of the best. When podcasts you say one of the best, are you saying there's others that's better? I think JJ's pod. No, no, not to you, but I do think JJ's pod. Damn. Why you say that? They got the connections out of They got the connections, to be fair. They, they got, the got Steph Curry on them. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we don't got it like that. That's a that's a monumental podcast. Yeah. Uh, no, monumental. it's it's cool. Um, I'm being honest though. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Let me, let me. I'm, I fucked up already. So first, I think y'all chemistry is great, mm -hmm. um, amazing. I also think that you know the way that you all kind of not only bounce off one another, but it, I can just the, yeah, the chemistry there. But it's also like the knowledge. The knowledge is there. It's mm -hmm. impeccable. But, but JJ's podcast is just better than yours, man. I can't even be mad at you. I can't be mad at you. No, no, so I he just used my shit. He just used my shit. That's not a better. I felt good about it too. You heard me. I agreed with him. I'm like, yeah, you're right, bro. You're right. Two, three, is there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So no, that's how I go. So two positives. Two positives. Then the harsh truth. Okay. Um, it's cool. I'm. They still trying to learn 
what it's like to be a creator, if I that makes Pee-wee sense. Out of, yeah, he doing his thing. Um, and it's it's rough for them, you know what I'm saying? Because like, <laughs> like no, I'm, I'm honestly because I grew up watching YouTube, you know what I'm saying? And they did it, so they, oh, they don't. Didn't? If I ask them right now, who's Chris Smooth? They wouldn't know. Who's that? What? My guys. Oh, they about JJ Reddick. Oh no, no, no. Well. He, he, probably probably he probably not either, but, uh, <laughs> but like they don't like. For example, we just did this event. That's why I'm here um, with this, the slam ball stuff. I had to like say that's Jideon, bro. Like I had to like one of the most popping people on YouTube right mm-hmm. now. They had no idea. They just don't exist in that universe. When I was trying to ex- trying to explain to them, you have to exist in this universe. This is where our job is at. Like we do stuff for Bleach Report. We do live shows and stuff like that. But like. Mm-hmm. At the root of it all, we technically are YouTubers. Yeah. So we need to know these things. Um, but it's it's cool, mostly because it's never been a time where like I'm on a trip or with, with them or doing a pod where I'm like, damn, I gotta go to work today. Yeah. Cause I'm Pierre is my blood cousin, 26 years together, like like this. And then uh, Mike and Derek, we met freshman year of high school. So we've been a, we've been friends for over a decade. Yeah. And then we just turned it into a job, which is always real cool. Cause I see Pierre doing this thing. Like he's- I do he, try, he, trying, he trying, you know. I be trying to get them in uh, the YouTube one on one classes, like how to do better with their title ends and thumbnails and stuff yeah. like that. Um, but I, I think they starting to realize it a little bit more and more every single every single month. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm fan of Pierre, man. He doing his name. <laughs> I am, but that ass. They were supposed to come with me, but they just did the the event and they got back to the hotel, showered, and they got in the bed. They said, "Nah." <laughs> they said, "There's no Shout way." Out to Pierre, man. There's when no I say way. I'm a fan of him, I even um, heard him rap. On a radio station All that shit So I keep up with Pierre That's what his first love was And it probably is still his love But you know You gotta make your money somehow For sure For sure For sure For sure Um, You got any Any any, any other questions Before we get to the To the mm-hmm. real questions Oh wow Those are all the fake questions Yeah I'm excited for the real we questions We started with the fake ones <laughs> excited Here come the real ones I hate the real questions Um, Well we can't ask someone Because you're in a relationship well, How um, How did y'all meet actually We can start with there actually uh, On some corny Movie mm. shit Freshman year First period bro Freshman year First period The first class I walked into Dead She ass. was in there Now we didn't start dating Until like junior year But we mm. was friends From that moment You like you like Locked eyes Off the rip That's, that's what I'm saying It wasn't like that yeah. You know what I'm saying um, <laughs> Was it love at first sight Absolutely not Okay but No we was real Real good friends Like we were in the same Friend group um, it's just one of those situations where you hang out with somebody so much and then you start to you like to know them a little. realize yeah. like oh shit you know what I'm saying Were you um, ever in the friend zone and got out no, nah, no, nah, I want I want to say that as soon as I started showing interest towards her, it kind of instantly hit like that. Um, crazy though, fuck it, we here right? I was trying to get her her best friend for like the first year or two Does of high school. Freshman you know, what? no, she knows. She knows. Okay, high school. Oh, okay. I was trying to get her best friend for a He's long 22. time. Yeah, you are twenty two? No, hell no. I mean, I'm sorry. You started at twenty. All this stuff started. Damn. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Nigga, you on yo, yeah, I can't stand this nigga. You, you gotta be on <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. He's dragging it. What's going on? Mm-hmm. He's anyway, 26. so what I'm trying to make is um so you you met her, mm-hmm. became friends, yep. but you was trying to let the friend or whatever. Yep. But then you get to know her. Mm-hmm. And, and then like, it's switched now. Yeah, it's switched now. You're thinking to yourself, hold on now. Yeah. So what what things happened where like it clicked for you, like, wait. I think we just spent more time together individually. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We used to just hang out in big ass groups. It was like we were in the same circle, but we didn't really know each other like that. Mm-hmm. Um and we used to go to like the Friday night football games in the high school and we just chill. I'm like, oh shit, okay, she cool. Uh let's just we start texting and it's Start turning to other stuff. So, Tight turn shit. to other stuff. Turn, relationship, baby. You know what I'm saying? Marriage. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna say yeah. No, you you all the way committed. All the yeah, way. Yeah, no. That's why, I like, of, like I said, I've been, I've watched the show, so I know what some of these questions gonna look like. It, my answer's not gonna be OD like some of the other people. Yeah, I'm gonna say I just thought it can't. It's not going to be. It's, it's I've like, been in a relationship for a decade now, bro. What? Yeah, yeah bro. That's what I just wow. said. Wow. Since we were 16, I guess it has been that long. Yeah, yeah, bro. Since I was 16. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 10 years? 10 years, brother. Yo, that is dedication. 10 years this week. Wow. wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, bro. What are you doing for your anniversary? Nothing. Stop lying. Dead ass. Dead, Dead ass. ass. Dead ass. You guys don't do anniversaries? Mm-mm. Well, we we do. We, I mean, we might do a nice dinner, but nothing that's too crazy. Oh, okay, you know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, We're not going okay. on no trip. I'm not getting on no crazy gift and vice versa. We just. How do you, how do you balance all that, though? Relationship, baby, five channels. <laughs> uh, Beach report flights. Right. <laughs> Seamlessly, man. I, I think we got a good people. Amount of people around us, like we just bought a new a home like early this year. Oh my god, lots of wins, man. man. I'm telling you, bro, it's been yeah, a crazy year. And um, we're five minutes away from her parents and 10 minutes away from my, my pops. Okay. So, like, I'm not there right now, 
I'm sure her sister is hanging out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or my dad might stop by, bring them dinner and stuff like that. So we just got a good, good supporting beautiful. cast, man. It's been, very beautiful. it's been brutal, beautiful for sure. Uh, 10 years is crazy now I say it out loud. Yeah. I'm 26, man. 10 year relationship. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Wow. Look crazy. At John. John is like, wow, this is, I can't fathom that right now. Hey, it, it ain't for everybody <laughs> for sure. I tell people all the time, like, <laughs> like it's, it's definitely not for everybody. Um, not for most people Actually I'm in a huge minority Being 26 what, 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 what do you think The th- five things it takes For that to happen For that to last <laughs> that's, that's the five things oh, You want to ask shit. Huh? Uh, Could. C- Communication is number one Got it Got it, right got it. it. Write it down yeah, but yeah write this down John Cause we well, Yeah we will do this one we'll do, These are the five list things Yeah um, Communication is definitely key Okay um, Number two is growing together you know what I'm saying? Again, we started when we were 16. We weren't even like adults. We didn't know who we were, what we were going to be. And we continued. Like, she supported my dreams. I support hers. And what I think is, that's what is her huge. dream. Um, well, she was going to school to be a teacher. Mm-hmm. And then she got pregnant. Somebody knocked her ass up. So now she's right. a stay at home mom for right now. <laughs> um, but she was going to school. Like, she was very ambitious about like um, helping kids with needs. So she's like certified at sign language and all of this shit. That's um true. so when she was going through school, I'm like, do what you gotta do. You ain't gotta worry about no bill. You ain't gotta work. Just go to school, focus on school and stuff like that. Um c- communication, growing together. Just staying passionate, bro. When you're in a relationship for that long, that shit can kind of fade away. Mm. Ten we talking ten years of just being with the same person. Like How do you a lot of relationships passion? don't last that long. Yeah, mm. what's the passion comes from? It's like hmm, I'm in a, I'm in Atlanta. Let me get her this little figure ring. Mm-hmm. No, I was thinking about her while I was down here. You know what I'm saying? Something shit like some shit like that. Yeah. I wake up, she got breakfast already ready. Just just the small things to just show like you you matter to me. You gonna always matter to me. Mm-hmm. Um Shit. Passion. Passion. Communication. Do we need five? Yeah. Damn. Ten <laughs> uh, years. It's ten years. Uh, <laughs> That's crazy. Shit. Uh, mm. Or I guess we can ask keep keeping each other accountable is number mm. four. Mm. Keeping each other accountable because checking her and vice versa, and bro. I'm, hey, I'm be honest with you. It do have times where I'm like I'm working for a long time. She's like, damn. Is that me time coming in? I'm like, yeah. you know, right? You, you right. I need to give you your, your time together with me and stuff like that. Because um, I, th- I think they go a long way. I think a lot of relationships end just by not having that. Um, and then lastly, fuck. Mm-mm-mm. What is the last thing that keep, kept our relationship? Making each other laugh. Boom. Mm-hmm. Making each other laugh, man. Okay. I mean, laughter is the, is the best way to get people together. All right. So if you can't right. make me laugh, I can't make you laugh. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Fair enough. Fair enough. That's fair some enough. ass relationship advice. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, it's not. Laugh. No, it's not. I just no, 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 that was no, great advice, not. man. We've been together ten years, so it must be right. I, I, it's not for everybody, though. Why you say that? Uh, I mean, my my guys have been in and out. Ten years a long ass time. Yeah. I've seen my guys have relationships here, three months here, a year here, two years. Um, and we still young as hell. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And most people don't want to be buckled buckled down this this young. So like my guys, they go out. I don't really go out with them. Mm-hmm. You, know, you ain't really gonna see me at no bar and no club because it's like, I mean, I, I would enjoy some time with the with the guys, but I'm not out there prowling. I'm not out there trying to find some new stuff. So yeah. um Well you find shit out there, it don't really last that long at the bars. Like you luckily you grew up with her. You know what I'm saying? So right. you understood her, you knew the in and outs. Like when you when you start off as friends, it's kinda better. Cause you know what you're kind of getting into. Word. You know, you see both sides. So you're a friend, you can see what they mad and what they do mm-hmm. and everything. But if you just talk to somebody, you're going to see the good side. Right. Like always. You, yeah. You always try to put the good foot forward. You're just trying to date the person all the time. You know what I'm saying? So. And they yeah. like me want to get bad. And it's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dara. Didn't know you would like that. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Um, well, I guess um, since, yeah, since you've been committed that long, I can't. We we can't ask you some of the other questions, man. You know, yeah, we can. What's your horniest moment, man? Wow, horniest moment is wow. crazy. It's, it's ten years. What what the fuck? He definitely has some horny moments. One hundred percent has some horny moments. Probably within them ten years. <laughs> horniest it's moments juice. is crazy. <laughs> Do you give a dick as a cup? No juice. How you think they kept the passion, Marcel? Mm. <laughs> no, that's crazy. <laughs> you got to be spontaneous, right? Horniest moment, bro. Grocery parking lot. Not grocery stuff. So. Department store. Anal. Toes. 
Hey, no, nah, this is wild. Y'all talking about what my my, is, my BM? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> what is your horniest moment? It could be before her, for sure, for sure. BDS I'm trying to think but before, he mar- but he married in high school. But, but like, it doesn't even have to include her. Start of it high school, be like it she's no, out won't, with family or whatever on a trip, look, and then Kai, you're just like, well, Kai, Kai's horniest moment was that he beat his I meat remember that. seven times. <laughs> I remember that above his little brother. I remember that. But yeah, yeah, so like. Yeah, it don't have to. Yeah, you've had a horny moment, bro. Well, for sure. Yeah, That's his, his horny thing. moment is that he got so horny that he nearly jacked off in the bathroom. No, I just went to the bathroom and thought about it. I said it. nearly. That's said not nearly. nearly. Nearly would have been my hand and my dick in my hand. Is that you? <laughs> is that rare though? It start crying. <laughs> No. Have you done that? that? Kitty, are you telling no, us? No, no, no. What, what I'm saying is, I don't even count Kenny because that, 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 that I'm going to be honest with you. If you say you've done that as well, you'd be the third person on that this. Is? Yeah. But I'm not saying I have, but I'm just saying that ain't too crazy. He thought about it. Come on. We all daddy these thoughts. Oh, wait, fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Who wait, Who was it that actually can went through all the way through? Oh, Rage. Rage. Rage, Rage oh, said he actually went. Damn. Damn. And like, what, school or something? Yeah. It was in school. Wow. Yeah. So what are you doing, man? See, I ain't been nothing like that, bro. Wait, what? BDM? What, what is, is that? that? Nope. Oh. I've been what now. is that? BDM is like is like when you like you get all wrapped up. Yeah. Oh. Bonded okay. in leather. That's, and BD, that's BD, that's BDSM. Huh? BDSM. What? BDSM, yeah. yeah. So can can he He knows it. <laughs> he he just just like, don't want to say I'm, like, I'm trying, bro. I'm trying. Fuck, I have to I have to say that one time. Are you a crustacean? What the hell is that? A bottom eater? Bottom feeder? <laughs> this nigga is jacked hey, today. Hey, we've been together for 10 years, bro. You got to you gotta do what you got to do sometimes. Okay. Well, <laughs> you could have said yes. No, do what you got to do sometimes. <laughs> there you go. No, he go to no. This ain't the horniest moment, but this this is a t- this is a t- you <laughs> red. I mean, hey, <laughs> lemons are yellow. Y'all, apples y'all are do red. what you gotta do. <laughs> no, he, no, driving grass green. Hey, 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 do you need gas hey, to drive? Hey, no, way, no, way, Kenny. I did not think you was gonna even. Float? You got, but no, no. <laughs> <laughs> A dog barks so Dang, the That's hurts. the craziest way To say yes That yeah, is That is a crazy way To say yes Hey do you need a battery To turn the camera on <laughs> <laughs> Are you a streamer I do got a PC <laughs> Man Oh Oh fuck oh, me man, man. Fuck <laughs> Okay Alright I wasn't even, I just wasn't even Expecting that answer no. I was expecting You just to ignore This nigga <laughs> She was saying Hey man There's oh. a cow move <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be moving, man. They do be moving, don't they? I do. Right. I, I, do I do got a story though that it's not. So, <laughs> not. Only, I mean, it's not the same topic. So okay, we, we, okay, we good. Okay. We good. Bro, I'm about to get y'all the, the detail. No, no, no. So this is like this is like sophomore year of high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sophomore, sophomore year. Sophomore year of high school, right? You know what I'm saying? This is where I, maybe I was late to the party, but this is where you you start for me at least to like really being like, oh shit, I'm trying to get some ass. So I used to carry a condom in my wallet. Mm-hmm. Oh, I remember those days. Right, carry condom in your wallet. You guys still don't You don't carry no condom in your wallet? <laughs> what do you mean the I'm the married. I'm just... damn near married. I'm I mean Oh, oh. True, true, true. Oh shit. Um we we at this party. I'm with these new group of dudes. They like the number one players in the basketball team. Like I'm trying to be it's a cool group. Mm-hmm. They invite me to a party. I'm like, say less, I'm coming through. Big ass party. One of the dudes come up to me. One of the top dudes. He's like, "Hey, bro, you got a condom on you?" I'm like, "Yeah, I got you, bro." I pull it out of my wallet, and it's one that motherfucker was a like a <laughs> like a small bro. <laughs> and listen, when, when I'm in high school, I'm capping like, "Yeah, I be fucking, I be fucking." <laughs> so I pull out the thing. I pull out the, the, fuck the I'm doing this. I pull out the thing. And he look at it and look back at me. <laughs> he said, "You keep that, bro. You keep that, bro." And to, and to this day, I ain't never told him that. Like, I ain't had no experience at that time. You know what I'm saying? I ain't. I ain't you know. For sure. I just had it. You know what I'm saying? I just had it. Where'd you get it? Um, from health class. <laughs> yeah. Got it right out of the health class bowl. Was Put it in my pocket. Was Durex blue? Yeah. It was. It was one of them blue things. Brother, there's some little cheap, little cheap Durex ones. Yeah, when I was bro. in uni, we, we used to have this annual condom poker tournament oh, where man. the condoms were poker chips. So if you won, you like you left that bitch with like thousands of condoms. Y'all freaks, boy! Y'all freaks! Y'all freaks! Y'all freaks! Y'all freaks! 
Mm. Doing the condom <laughs> poker, <laughs> poker cup. That's crazy. Oh man. Oh brother. Uh, I just remember when I when I was in high school, going to college, and carrying that condom in my uh, you just carrying it. Knowing you can go anywhere, yep. You be like, man, <laughs> hey man, I'm about to go get go to the gas station, making sure you just got that shit on you. Never know. You, you about to you having it for no reason, bro. No, you never know when you should need it. You you don't want to be without it. That's what I'm saying. You telling yourself that like, Ooh, I might, I might get some today. You go you go out to go um, watch a football game. You be like, oh, she gotta carry that shit. You on, ever uh, replace it? Like this has been in my wallet for six months. Let me. One time I, 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 I one time I moved. I moved that long. You need to just celibacy <laughs> maybe. Hey, hey, like, <laughs> <laughs> one time, one you know what's so crazy? One time I went um oh at, in the gas station up the street of my house. They had they had like a condom dispenser. I left um school and I was gonna walk home, but I was like, mm. let me go go there first, bro. I put the two three quarters in because I had been saving up all throughout the um. Well, you bought you bought you bought a. You bought a Quarter, quarter combo? Back in the day, they had them, yeah, in the thing. Because I, I wasn't, pack, they didn't I was young. Huh? They didn't have the pack back then? They did. <laughs> in, the, in the bathroom, in the, um, at the gas station, they had like dispensers. So they had like, you just put them, put quarters in there, you did it. So I, w- I would have like, every day after school, I would pay like two dollars for lunch, and I would get like oh, my girl, twenty-five my dad cents. Me about that. That's back, that's back in <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> stop. Gas station I, I, had, I got I got twenty-five that's cents when back. Was cheap. And so I just waited for like the whole the week to be done to get the dollar with just straight coins. I go there and I put the coins in, Man. turn the thing, and no condom came out. So I'm thinking to myself like, bro, am I about to be fifteen year old complaining to, to the, the, the to cashier the that yeah. I ain't got no uh, condoms? I left the left there, looked at the cashier, and it was like some young chick. So it wasn't even a man. I was mm. like, man, I just lost that dollar, bro. It's fucking done, bro. So <laughs> then I go back, go by walk all the way back home. And at this point, like my from my school to my crib, it was like a, a mile. Walking back was like a mile what and a half. Mile? Damn, what gas the is it a combo from the bathroom? <laughs> Yo, man, I, I didn't know. <laughs> you know what you with you? How much is gas back then? It was, it was like, it was like <laughs> fifty cents, 50 cents <laughs> a gallon. I'm gonna I'm keep. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. <laughs> what I didn't know. Mile? I didn't. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know where else I was gonna get a walk condom from. You dedicated right. that day <laughs> to, to walk to that the task. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't know where else to get a condom from. I didn't have no older cousin that lived around me. I'm. I'm the oldest. Mm. So. Not like you know, somebody can like throw me one just to like you know, da 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 da. And back then, niggas had condoms in their pockets as if like it was a badge of honor. Like, yeah, like yeah. I got me one too. Yeah. So I'm still trying to search for one. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. So niggas had condom and wasn't fucking just had. <laughs> was it, bro? I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. The result of all that. I ended up stealing some condoms to the gas station, bro. I was like, bro, they owe me. That's the reason they be locking them up, man. They, they I ain't gonna lie. Locked. No, but I felt like they owed me because I paid for it. So the next week, I was gonna do the same you thing again. I was gonna put quarters in there. Which, you stole I, the same ones you was about to buy? Yeah, I stole it. I went, I left, and then I, I just snatched the box, all the thing. I was like, bro, they owe me some anyway. You snatched the box. The three, the three pack, the three pack box. got his leg back. <laughs> I did, bro. I, I was like, bro, I'm stealing this, bro. Y'all, uh, I ain't gonna get hilarious. me twice. The reason I asked you that. Wait, so you, wait, so you, you paid for condoms, was too afraid to ask the lady and left. And yeah. then came back a week later and stole. Because I was, I would have took it. I already walked there. <laughs> I already walked there. Nah, see, the that, reason I asked you that, though, if you replaced them, because the time it was time to get, get about it, yeah. I didn't have my shit, bro. So I called my pops, like, yo, where your condoms at? Called your dad? You Called your dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, what? My pop, my pop, so f- sh- like forward thinking. He, he was happy I called him for a condom instead of just going in. Fair, fair enough. Fair um, enough. how old were you though? How old was I? Yeah. <laughs> how many do you normally keep in your wallet? Six. Just that just one. one. Just one. You keep one. Yeah. <laughs> this is when we're young. How y'all. big is your wallet, bro? <laughs> <laughs> it's like six or seven in there. <laughs> no way. No. Your whole wallet is condoms. Uh-huh. There's no cards in that bitch. Uh-huh. Just condoms. I keep a box in the car, and then, <laughs> and then I keep in my wallet. I got like a pack. Of, how many? John. <laughs> John. John. When you were fifteen, yeah, bro, he's serious, no, this bro, nigga is crazy. serious. Put the camera on you. Put the oh camera. My, oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. Put the camera on you. We got compartments and compartments. No, that's fucking insanity, uh, man. That is. Cool. Show them how many condoms you have, bro. Don't show your cards. Is that six, nigga? How many condoms do you have? 
John, they're gonna steal all your identity. Be careful. John, show show oh. no show wave the wave the condoms. Wave the condoms to the um thing. Yeah. Bro, that's to the wild. camera. So we got That's not that crazy. We got five. Problem is they're all flattened though. You trust that? Huh? They're, all they're not in there that long. Okay. Not trust it. You fuck with um Trojans like that? Hmm? Not uh, like, uh, Ma- one, Magnums, excuse me. You fuck well, with Magnums like that? Not like Magnums because the Trojans would be too tight sometimes, but this one was like some spicy shit. The <laughs> spicy? It was like, it's like heat and sensation. Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then she liked that. Damn. But the Magnums, you know what I'm saying? That gives me enough, enough room to be great. And enough, enough wiggle room in here? Huh? Yeah, no, no, no wiggle room. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, a, just, a, just enough. Just enough. This is the nastiest thing. I know. That was, that was, that was such a nasty pause in our conversation. Um... <laughs> No, nah, right. but like wait, 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 no, wait, wait. How old were you when you called when this conversation? Sixteen. 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 Man, I'm. I wish I had those conversations. But this, man. this is the thing. This was my first time too, and he, um, my pops used to own a barbershop, and he put me on speaker. Cause he at the barbershop, all the guys around. He like he about to do it. <laughs> I'm like, wow. But he told crazy. me where they was at. We did all that. We did all thing. Wow! What's up? Yo, w, shout out to pops, bro. W father. Shout out pops. Yeah, not yeah. like he won't talk. He's like, all right, he about to do it. About to do it. About to do it. That's great. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Family bond. They weren't sure man. at first. That's what he always tell me. They weren't sure. Sure what? What about man. your sexuality? Yes, bro. They thought she was gonna turn out differently. <laughs> <laughs> this is a crazy pod. I was not a, I was not expecting this combo to happen, bro. <laughs> Hey, they was so crazy. Waiting. They was waiting for the moment. He's like, but, but I was also out. just sixteen, so it's kind of wild for them to even put him behind the hell, hell, No way. I'm gonna keep all the way up being. Omar was the same way. People didn't know if he was. They were like, eh, is he kind of? What's going on? Man? Knows what he was swinging. <laughs> so your dad was just ecstatic. He was, he was like, hey, he was going that's crazy. my boy right there. Yes, sir. <laughs> the day has come. He got home. He asked me everything that was to be asked. Yep. That's but, good right there, man. Mm-hmm. That's but it's good to keep them. Even though if you don't don't use them all, it's good. Because I wanted this opportunity where I was in it. I was, I was in a position, and it was time to go down. And it, I wasn't prepared for that moment. Because normally, you, what I used to do was, I used to have a box at home, and I knew when I was going out, I will just load it up. But now I keep it loaded just in case. Because you'll get in that situation, and you'll be like, dang, you don't want to go wrong. But we talking about when you're 15, though. That's we talking. We talking 15, 16. Not 15, you as a grown man. No, 15, 16 still. But I wasn't keeping them loaded like this. I didn't have a box. Like I, I had a box, so I asked somebody for a box. But then, cause my dad was like, oh, "You got to." He used to scare me with the pregnancy talk. He used to have those Hell kind of, yeah. them random conversations yeah. that don't, that you don't want to have. Yeah, like we weren't even talking about nothing. It'd be just a car ride. It's real quiet. You turn the radio real down and be like, "Babies, yeah. <laughs> somebody like don't that. have them. We about, we you better be prepared for them." We haven't talked to them. Man. Anything you want to tell me about? I'm like, no. Do you want to anything? How's life? It, just, it wouldn't be the time for the conversation. Right. Mad awkward. <laughs> yeah, mad awkward. Yeah. Like, turn the radio down. We got a long drive. Like, we driving either from Douglasville to Lawrenceville. And oh, then, man, that's a long drive. Yeah. And around 30 minutes in, he'll turn the radio down. Huh, John. So, you know Jonathan. what I'm saying? You know, I'm your father, right? I was about to say, that's <laughs> what it sounded like. You, he, thought, he probably thought to himself, I am his dad, so yeah. I need to have this convo yeah, with him your right father, now. father, right? You know you can talk to me. Anything you want to tell me, what's going on in life? You know about sex, right? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Like, it'd be the stuff you know about, you don't want to talk about. You know about sex. I'll be like, Dad, yeah. what is it? It'd be crazy if that's how he reveal what it is to you, though. Sex? What the fuck uh, is that, Dad? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I guess I just saw more rapid fire questions because this is sex. Right here. This right here, boy, this is a crazy combo. Um, rapid fire questions. You still didn't have answer overrated, overrated or underrated. So I gave you some time to think about it. Oh, that shit was not in my mind, brother. Yeah, we was talking about condoms. Uh, step talking about condoms. <laughs> kind of like that conversation. Not gonna lie. You said condoms are overrated, or underrated. Overrated or well, uh, overrated, underrated condoms? <laughs> oh, condoms. I think, I think what the, the fuck? Hey, I think the Are Magnum okay? is overrated, man. I think oh, okay. the Magnum, I think the Magnum oh, is overrated too. Condom, bro. I thought you were talking about. Hey, I'm be honest with you. I think that Magnum is overrated, and I don't care if that means I have an average small dick. I don't care, bro. <laughs> the Magnums are overrated, overrated bro. bro. Those are overrated. overrated condoms. I mean, they are big. They are big condoms. You know what I'm saying? So. But they're overrated, though. What do you mean? They feel comfortable. They 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 stick too much. I don't I don't like because that. I think the latex ones, in general the other ones be yeah. too small and tight, and they break. The Magnum, I, every, every time I use something different, they'll break. The Magnum don't break. So what are the other ones then? Um, <laughs> this nigga's going crazy. <laughs> uh, every other one breaks. Uh, not no, even not like all of them, but like some of them, like I tried the Trojan Bear Skins. It felt kind of good, but then it breaks. And I'm like, damn, that shit always breaks. 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm, 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 I might be a super grower. <laughs> Yeah, bro. It's a crazy part of podcast that John crazy. can just say, "I have a big penis." So let me just no, but it's he not said that, it but in it's many like, like in as many ways as possible. It's like comfortability, because you know, like when you're going crazy, like if you're doing that soft, that soft, lovey stuff, then you're good. But if you get in that thing going crazy, you know what I'm saying? It start heating up. Okay, all right, they, John. Damn, real. Okay, John. You okay. know what I'm saying? Underrated, okay. underrated. Yes, please. He was an all star last year. Please save us. Jared Allen. Who? Okay, Jared Allen. Jared, Jared Allen, because he should be in the conversations with the best defensive bigs in the league. He should be, yes. Oh, and he's not. Jared Adams condoms. I was like, Jared Allen? <laughs> this shit made a fur. I was like, Jared, was Jared like, Allen. You saw the Magnum You wearing right, so wear a Jared <laughs> Allen? <laughs> you got two packs of Jared Allen in your wallet. <laughs> Jared, so Jared Allen, uh, underrated. Who's overrated? Oh, my gosh. <sighs> who's overrated? <laughs> Um, and don't and don't give me two positives and a negative about this man. You just tell me his name. Can you throw names out and I tell you overrated under because I, I can, I'm blank right now. Okay. Oh, uh, Kenny. Um, uh, LeBron. Underrated. Markel Fultz. You know that's <laughs> a fuck up. How could LeBron be underrated? That's Are you such crazy? A lie, Kenny? Man, everyone calls him the greatest of all time. So, man. Somebody say he's not top fifteen right now. <laughs> man, I fucking hate bro. God damn, <laughs> nigga, that's the one guy you can't put in the underrated conversation. You can't under, do it, bro. Under, underrated. <sighs> all right. Okay. I I'm, I'm kind of blown out because I think you're just capping right now. Underrated. Jalen Brown. Underrated. I think he should be in the conversations with best shooting guards in the league. Devin Booker. Slightly, slightly overrated. Slightly, slightly overrated. I don't want him to be the best Kenny. player. I don't need. I don't need the positives. <laughs> Kenny, I don't need. I'm the po- talking to them. I'm not but talking. No, no, Kenny. I don't need the positives. No, no, no. Because no. you, yeah, that shit is automatic. No, 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 he wears his See, jersey. No, 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 no. Great car pop. collection. But, <laughs> but I love his humbleness, but just, <laughs> just a little smile. No, 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 no. So now he's wonderful underrated. Family. He went beautiful, underrated. dog. He went from just, slightly just, just overrated. Slightly overrated. Yep. Okay, he went slightly overrated to underrated. I mean, um. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's a beautiful family. Ooh, <laughs> Love his mom. Great cooking, man, but this is slightly overrated. All right, wait, wait. All right, Rudy, Rudy Gobert. Overrated. Oh. Wow. And I'm, I'm the biggest Rudy Gobert fan. I know, fan. that's the reason why I but said I that. I think uh, this season's kind of showcasing some stuff that I didn't even Carl expect. Anthony so. Towns. Um, Carl Anthony Towns is also overrated a little bit. Jordan Poole. Overrated. Come on, man. Jordan Poole, nice. He He's not, he nice. He's like but bad bitches around. Yeah, yeah, facts. Um, let me think. Let me think. <laughs> Luca. Neither. I think people, Luca's the real deal. Jimmy Butler. Luka Underrated. Just, Luca just dumped on that nigga uh, Drew Holiday during the holiday season. <laughs> Did he? Nah, he that just punched on that nigga. Man. <laughs> he came down. I thought he was gonna pass. It was real awkward. Like, it didn't look like he was about to dunk it. He took one step and that nigga just flew. That boy Drew Holiday thought he was about to do a fancy pass. I did too. I didn't know Luca was dunking like that. Oh my god! He Kevin rose Luke. up on Drew Holiday, dunked him, and threw this the little the little this thing they do. Mm-hmm. Start yelling. Mm-hmm. Ke- Kevin Durant, neither. Oh my god! I can't. Katie's he can't be overrated. Yes, he can. How? He's not overrated. No, but he can he's, be. But he's oh, making yeah. it seem like he's not. Fight. But he can't be underrated. He's averaging thirty on great efficiency. He's properly rated. He's properly rated. Giannis, properly rated is the greatest player in the league. I don't want to do this no more. <laughs> you can't. I, I can't say Giannis is overrated. I can't. I can't he averaged thirty two with some of the best defense in basketball. He's not overrated. No way. You think he's overrated? No, but he's saying in the middle. I, I'm just gonna. I'm but not he can't be either underrated one. either because people say he's the best in the league. Yo, you can't be underrated. Yo, underrated. MB. Underrated. AB. Properly rated. Exactly. See, no one's what about overrated. Mal, Miles Plumley. Oh my god. Underrated. Okay. See, I bet on him every night. He get them rebounds, boy. Oh God, he get them rebounds. Mars golf. Out of the league. He played it for a second. Like, He's out of the league. What are you talking about? You just be chatting. God. But in general, okay. So who do you think is overrated? It's hard. It's really hard. I think bro. Kevin Durant is overrated. Shut the fuck. If up. I had to pick one or the other, I think he's <laughs> man, overrated. Man, Because I think some people believe that he's a top five player. 
And where was where was who said better, him or Tatum? Right now, yes, Tatum has had a better season. And do you think people would say that? Tatum's the front runner for MVP right now, so I, I think people would say how, that. Would you? Well, how many people do you believe would confidently claim that Tatum is better than KD? Well, I think that <laughs> NBA, NBA fandom doesn't look at the now and looks at the resume. So most people will say Kevin Durant is objectively better because so he has done. If I make yada, a tweet yada. right now that says Tatum is better than KD, people will lose their mind. They definitely would. Benefits. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. This is a positive so if, if I if I had to pick one, what underrated or overrated? I would say overrated for KD. Like I think Kyrie's overrated. Who's the most hated player, LeBron, in the NBA for you? What? <laughs> it is LeBron actually. Oh, you hate LeBron? Uh, oh, 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 uh, who no. does he hate? Uh, oh my god, uh, that's a crazy. Laker fans. Laker fans. Get the fuck out. Laker right, fandom, man. Say, say two positives and then the negative about Laker <laughs> fans. Um, I want to see it in action. <laughs> Uh, Laker fans are super passionate about their teams. Mm-hmm. Not many people out there to support them, their organization, like Laker fans. They just won a championship a little while ago, and it was great. And they deserved a, a parade for that. Mm-hmm. Even though it was a fraudulent bubble trophy. <laughs> but the championship might have been fra- fraudulent. Mm. No, it was not. You just I'm, I'm talking yeah, shit. You're, I'm you're just talking shit. I forgot you were a Lakers talking. fan. You're talking. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I don't. I don't have people that I'm, I genuinely dislike because I don't really know people really? enough. Really, like, Nani, you like him? Don't know him enough to even have an opinion. I I hate him. You're so, right. You still you're hate him. You're I hate that guy. I can respect it because he went through the time of him being dog shit you on like this Jim organization. Boyle? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, do you hate him? As hate, cl- hate is a strong word. As close to hate without being hate. Yeah. Okay, well, I, hate I think Brian he Yanni. I think he set the organization back five years. That's what Bargnani did. <laughs> and Messiah <laughs> Messiah to come through and clean and all of that here. up yeah. Boom yeah. Knicks Messiah take him yeah, Messiah Think about trading to the Knicks he was all right, kind If of you have anyone you don't want the Like Vucevic all right. I want to trade all their ass out yeah. They can all go to New York Big Marcus still yeah. You know Jim Boylan set us back So so you see all the Jim Boylan disciples Going crazy Disciples like marketing. <laughs> yeah. Wendell Carter Like everybody that was no, playing underneath right. them Are like going Mark- crazy Marketing somehow is turning to Pseudo Dirk yeah, out of legit. Utah, which is crazy. I've never, I never thought in my life. Yeah, so and I mean, think to myself like, damn, Boylan had all that talent, boy, that's crazy. Yeah, he just didn't know how to develop. Lakers the Bulls just don't know how to develop. The like Lakers Ingram pulled left, the trigger did way great. too Kuzma early. Left, they just pulled it early. Doing great. Yeah, yeah. Kuzma's also doing fine. Did so. they? <laughs> they got the ring the first year. No, but we, he, I'm, what I'm saying is, I think those players would have played well with the Lakers. They oh yeah, okay, yeah, I agree. Brandon Ingram was going to be an All Star. Yeah, he was going to be. Yeah. Now Kuzma's playing better than I thought he was going to play for sure. And so is. Um, Caruso And so was Lonzo When he was playing Yeah oh my god Yeah Jesus I forgot how good That team could have been Jordan And Jordan Clarkson Jordan. Yo, yeah, oh my god. god Julius Randle yeah, Is the only NBA player yeah, Oh my he god fell He fell off <laughs> He fell off Now they got who Underrated they got now Who do they have now He's not <laughs> underrated Kenny Julius <laughs> Randle's not underrated They got, <laughs> they got, they got, they got Jalen Brunson Jalen Brunson Westbrook They got They got AD Yep Who the team I know I know about heart Yeah Unfortunately it, it is um, Westbrook doesn't start no more Which is also pretty fortunate uh, Unfortunate He doesn't um, start no more? No because Pat Bev starts for him <laughs> So Pat Bev Lonnie Walker um, why, why did he lose his starter position? What's he doing? I good? think he's better off the bench anyway uh, But he start, He comes off the bench Because LeBron wasn't, wasn't, uh, It wasn't Westbrook dropping 40 this year? Uh, this, this year? He's having Shut 40? up nigga Shut up Anyway Pat, Pat, <laughs> Pat, Pat, <laughs> Bev, Lon, Pat Bev Lonnie Walker Troy Brown now, um, AD and LeBron <laughs> Who drops 40, John? That's not even a believable cap. <laughs> averaging 40. <laughs> averaging 40 and being Westbrook is crazy, isn't it? No, being anybody and averaging 40 is yeah, crazy. It is, it is. Unless you're Harden, I guess. Or Will. Um, Kenny, I, I do thank you for coming out, man. Of course. Uh, wait, Jalen Brunson. Um, properly rated. I can't. I just can't. He's a 17th Scotty highest Barnes. paid point guard. You Who? can't tell me he's not. Scotty Barnes. Careful now. Um... He's been asked this season. No, he hasn't. He's been, he's been asked this season. No, so, what is, so what is he? He, he? he did better last season. So what is he's he? better last season. So what is he? I guess he's slightly overrated. How? Who is overrating him? Raptors, Raptors fans. fans. <laughs> <laughs> Raptors fans. Yeah. 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 Before the yeah. season began, Raptors fans was like, we'll never trade him for Kevin Durant. I yeah. was like, not you. I know you weren't in that group, but it was a good subsection of Raptor fans who were saying that. Yeah. He's a good player. Like I watched, I watched it today. I'm like, damn, can he do something? He's kind of sit around. Right no, now. he's not sitting around, man. He's he's sitting so, it's, a, it's a sophomore wall, though. No, for sure. Second, we see this. We slot. see this for sophomore players all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But right now, like him and Evan Mobley, I'm taking Evan Mobley 100 oh, percent of the time. Yet. It's not even close. Mobley is 100 percent of the time. We're not worried about it. He's the real deal. <laughs> We're not worried about it. It's a real deal. Cause I'm happy. I'm happy. Because Cleveland's still in Utah. So. Hmm. <laughs> what? 
What you say? You said Cleveland's still in Utah? <laughs> what you say? No, nah, that's crazy. Eh? That is, that is. Uh, yo, um, <laughs> Kenny, thank you for coming out, man. Definitely long time coming. I, I do want to just take the time I appreciate off. you for coming out, man. Yeah, I know it's sure. late. You had a long ass day and shit. I, I appreciate still what you're doing out. to the uh, community and stuff like that. I think you were one of the very few people <laughs> in the community who like pushing it, pushing it forward. Type. Yeah, These niggas... I'm so sorry. You one of the very few people who pushing <laughs> pushing the game forward. I thank you for that. Also, I thank you for saying no a few times, man. Open the door for me, man. I'm working <laughs> He's for crazy. I'm serious. I'm working for Leecher. I, I, I saw play. y'all on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know it's so big I, things. I thank I thank you for saying no. But a that's few not times. directly because of me. I'm just saying. He, also, he, shout out to Bleacher Report. How do you, how do you, yeah? Actually, before you go, how do you feel about um, entities like Bleacher Report and Barstool kind of getting more involved with like content creators or just having a, a social media um, platform? Uh, I. Th- I think there's, I would say this, try not to get fired. There's some things that BR doesn't do as well as bar stool when it comes to creators. But I was just talking about in contrast to like oh, traditional it, media. It's, it's really dope. It's really dope. Because I think ESPN took way too long to kind of get, you know, I, it, I'm kind of surprised. And even that. then, they, who they have now? Shout out to Omar. Omar and Omar they, opened they, the door for me to take it. And spot. that is fair. <laughs> but they, all, and they also um, rolled the dice on Krasimba one time where they had him in um, studio. They had him in studio one time, um, um, Doing your game actually, really? ESPN, yeah. I do not. But they, 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 they didn't do. Oh, on ESPN like Plus, right? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, wow. I remember that as well. Um, but they don't. Yeah, I'm just so surprised that ESPN hasn't been like getting there, I, especially because I know for a fact they could easily take advantage of us. But um, take advantage. That of sounds us. wild. But they could. They, they, they could, could pay us less money than they're paying them, and probably get a more, uh, definitely a higher return to some of their talent that they have there. Definitely. I'm not even. I'm being very serious too. I know that for a fact. They can. They can give me slave wages, and I'll be all right. Don't say that, man. You deserve better. Hey, hey ESPN, man. I'm here. <laughs> I'm not until the end of 2023. Yeah, and I'm not until oh, I forgot when it expires. <laughs> I got over, two things over to time. ask you. How do you feel about? Uh, oh, where do you think Kyrie gonna go? His sneakers? <laughs> and then <laughs> that's such a crazy question. What? I just saw. I saw him post. I a love that question. <laughs> I saw him post uh, on this thing. I think I saw Nike no more. So it's mm-hmm. like I'm free now, and it says logo here. Yeah, on a pair of Nikes. Um, what do you feel? What do you feel? I think Under Armour's gonna pay him. Under Armour? I don't mm-hmm. think no company. Someone said Lay Ling. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. No company's taking that risk. I think Lay Ling would actually. Like, Who? They signed the, the, the one the Wade company. Yeah, Lay they Lay got Lay. hella money. They signed Who? somebody. Wade? Wade. Wade. Yeah, yeah the Wayne, Wayne Wade. Wade? Mm-hmm. Lay, Lay, they're not doing it either. Lay, Lay, Lay. I don't know. I don't, I, just, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know about that. They I would just be very surprised if somebody takes that risk. They're nervous. Just I don't like, think it would happen anytime soon, for sure. Yeah, it, 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 a happens, year has like, to pass by. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm with. I'm talking about like a year passing. Oh, okay, by. not okay. like next month. That okay. that would be very crazy. Lee yeah. got a lot of money too. How do you feel about um, uh, Brittany Griner coming home for the uh, what she who they trade her for the uh, the, the merchant merchant yeah. the merchant of death is crazy. <laughs> Nigga, I saw some videos on that nigga. He is insane. insane, insane bro. Bro. Oh insane, my bro. god, yo, he like he's he, insane. He funded, he, like he funded entire African militias war, in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. So like that, like trader will leave for Superman. Yes, <laughs> that's crazy. Welcome on, BG. But like if Superman was evil though. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> evil. Oh, Superman. Uh, oh, and uh, let no Lex Luthor. That's what it's like. Trading with Lee for Lex Luthor. You know, what? like the Superman and uh, I'm happy she's uh, back. Justice Two and Justice Two story. But mode. yeah, be the positive. Yeah, I have she's back in the WNBA. And shout out to Biden and all them man because it's like. They I, got the job done. They got the job done. The she didn't deserve to be in prison How for what she did. She needs to drop. But she now. did break a law, but she didn't deserve. It. But, but. The other Americans in Russian prison right now have to be upset. That is also sure. they have to be upset. Yeah. They have to be furious. She cut her dreads. She oh, did. I didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, but let me see. They yeah. had to be upset, yeah. bro. I never even thought about that. Because if I was there, I'd be like, man, man, she, they did what? They traded, and I wasn't part of the trade. Yeah, like yo, you had to be like, that's like getting traded from Chicago, and you're like, man, so. He couldn't package me with Caruso and DeRosa. <laughs> oh yeah, she, I'm, I'm left here. Yeah, 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 like uh, that's that's it. But you got to be careful though, and that's and that's the tough part. A lot of NBA is very spoiled because like they make so much bread, they don't have to think about other jobs. Most other sports don't get paid enough. Um, like volleyball, lacrosse, like most other sports. Sometimes, unless you're the top of the sport, you have to get other jobs or like mm-hmm. others. Sources of income, or you play in other leagues around the world just to support yourself 
um, so that you can make enough money to to live. And it's difficult because now you got to play year round all across the clock. So when you're done your well, season Brandy here, Brandy Grinder doesn't fall under that. Did she be more dominant? Oh, in she, the paint? she probably she makes, makes enough money. Lot of money. Makes, but there's opportunities to her peers at least. Yeah, there's opportunities elsewhere, and I guess she took the one in an area where she just did. Okay, no, I don't want. I don't know what you're on this now because she's coming from Russia. She's a little more dominant, maybe a little stronger. She's also um, she was dunking before, she was but, dunking. She's, but she's but she's also slamming on if I'm not come back in jobs forty though, that'd be tough. That would she be come tough. back and drop great she documentary. Do- she come back and slam and windmilling. Any, 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 that would be crazy. <laughs> any any final words, AJ? Any any more, any more last questions? Like <laughs> she comes back like, and does windmills. <laughs> that would be crazy. Once she cuts the ref off, they might in, start in sending the talent over there on purpose. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. They may drug test her again. She come back doing windmills. Any, any 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 final questions, Agent? Uh, I may drop fifty for me to raise. <laughs> I may start watching games. Who was that? Actually, who's that? Who's a young girl um, who's playing in college right now? Who's shooting threes like Curry? Oh, uh, um, Caitlin Clark. Clark. Yeah, she's yeah. She she's, actually she's could. Nice. She could actually. Um, but they don't. They rules in the WNBA is you have to graduate. So she's That's a junior. Horrible. She could have came out last year and been like the number three That's pick. Horrible. She could have been the number one pick this she year. To change that ASAP. She has to, to graduate less college. Than the, uh, yep. <laughs> the uh, Denver Nuggets mascot. <laughs> no, they need to change what? that. Stop, 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 stop. I think the highest. Pay they need. They need to change that. No, they, they should do, be one yeah. year and out. Yeah. Yeah. It should yeah. be whatever she, the NBA is. Because she needs to. She needs to come in the league. I think she could look. What was the WNBA? The highest paid WNBA player makes less than the Denver Nuggets mascot. Uh, I, not after she, sponsorships, unlikely. Um, but also, she because I think she could actually change the game. Yeah. I like genuinely bring in a lot of interest. I think there's just me and the guys in real life wa- watch her play. Like I, 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 I saw in. her on the timeline not too long ago, and I was like, I gotta. I, I actually stopped and went to go watch her highlights, and I was like, her team is ass, ass, but she got them ranked because no, she is crazy. crazy. She's crazy. <laughs> she got got Stanley, Stanley being on the ass team and back. getting them ranked is I'm crazy, you, bro. She's that nice. She's tough. She's tough. Any final words, agent? Any questions? I just I just watched two top five. Picks and then it's class of 2024 just obliterate another team. I wanted to come to that, yo, bro. It was it was like it was so crazy. Hey, what are you watching what, what game was this? Uh, OT, uh, OT, Amanda Nassar Thompson, bro. It was and there was 20 scouts in the building, GMs and stuff like that. Mm. Um, who was there? Um, fucking Anthony Parker was there. Mm. Landry Fields was there because they all was, are scouts and and shit like that. There was 20 of them and they just they're both already ranked top five and they were obliterating competition. It was nasty. And they yeah. were playing up against other top 10, like top 50 ranked players. Have you met them? Yeah, I worked there, so I talked to them. All right. Yeah. yeah. Um, from what I know, they grew up watching like YouTube content and shit. A lot so of people. So they know, like, yeah, yeah. know our community and stuff, which yeah, is Yeah, all of them do, really. They do, yeah. So I was, I, well, last time I was there, I was just sitting down for a second, and I was just like on the thing. And the everybody was like, yo, you're, I seen you in the AMBV. I seen you on playback. I seen you on. That's crazy. Which is crazy. It's like, very low. I ain't gonna lie, that never dawned on me. The first time I really saw that was that clip where Giannis like looked at Mike Rizemba and yep. was like, yo, I love your videos. Yeah, that's a crazy I, moment. I was geeked. Ever since then, I've been trying to catch Giannis and I can't. <laughs> Bro, I, I bumped into, um, um, fuck, I'm blanking on his name now. Who's Giannis' young, youngest brother? Um, um, Kosis? Yes. Uh, he was at OT. He's like, oh, I love your videos. I got so I look crazy, crazy, like, thanks, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, no, Dave's no, gonna come. You gonna meet Giannis? He gonna give you his game worn shorts. I don't want the shorts. <laughs> shorts is crazy. I want him. Huh? I want him. You want his? Mm-hmm. We can put it right there beside. No, you're not. The Landry Field signed basketball. Is that what that is? Wait, wait, wait. No, it's, it's not. Low. Like, how would you feel? How would you feel if you told like his assistant or told somebody in the stands like you was there? It's your last game before you move out the country or something like that. You saw Giannis when he retired. This is his last game, and he wore. He had a jersey and it was worn. He told you, "Look, he said, I'm gonna give you a game worn jersey." He told the assistant to bring the jersey out, but the assistant brings out shorts instead of the jersey. If he signs them, I'll the take them. The shit that makes you laugh is hilarious. If he if he signs, if he signs them, how mad you will be? You like this incompetent bitch. <laughs> if he <laughs> she had one job. If he if he, <laughs> he one job. if he signs it, if no, he signs it, the jersey. Nah, I, I would I would I'll be I'll just take a picture. I'll be fine. I'm, I'm not taking I'm not taking a man shorts. That's crazy. I would take them. Last him. game. What yeah, his career? I might take his, like they mailed, like mailed it, they mailed it to. They went the note. The note didn't match the the shorts. I guess I'm giving them to somebody. I guess I'm giving it to him because I'm not having I sell them. Also, you, also, also no, all right, not Kenny. Also, no, so, also no cap. Giannis has a big dick. I'm not having shorts with a nigga's dick in it, bro. That's crazy. That's what you about? Underwear, bro. Underwear, what is nigga? No, I don't care. Why are you thinking I that? I actually don't care. Because are you sure big, that? You don't want the short. I'm positive he has a big dick. I'm so if he has a small dick, you take it. 
pause. Would pause. you be disappointed <laughs> if he? Hold on. You hear what you said? Yes. If, if he has a small digger, you think you'll take it? Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm not taking a man's shorts I'm sorry Okay then What's the size of his dick matter It Why just makes it worse He just wanted to bring up You thought he had a big dick bro. I know he has a big dick Got it <laughs> You shouldn't get shot What's <laughs> <laughs> What's <laughs> He's flirting He's trying to get a, The Damn. Instagram DM <laughs> The Milwaukee Buck Reddit Is yeah, they, they, they tell you some stuff Over there man It's crazy what? man Wait Wait I, wait. Don't, his, yeah, don't all his brothers Play on the same team uh, yeah. One of his brothers does And his other one I think plays overseas he used to play for the Lakers. He, uh, he, he plays for though, the Bulls, right? the G League Bulls. Oh, he they have different numbers, though, right? Uh, yeah, he they play on the same team, so they can't have the same. What's his other? What's his other brother's number? Who the fuck know that? So oh, he's I'm what sorry, John. <laughs> what right, hey, Kenny, hey, man. Jersey? Thank you for coming you, out. We're gonna, we gotta get, we got, we got to get Kenny out of here. I, I thank you for coming out once again. Uh, thank you for opening the doors and, and continue to uh, pioneer. Any final Thanks. words, Kenny? Appreciate y'all having me. Thank you. Long time coming, man. For sure, for sure. Yo, shout out to my podcast people out there. Continue to rate us a five star on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Stitcher, all the other um, junk and stuff. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button, notification bell. Make sure you click the link in the description to get exclusive content on memberships. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and um, hit the subscribe button, notification bell to join. Naughty gang, gang, is that it still? Yeah. Is that Naughty gang, gang, gang? My father was blanking yeah. out. Yeah. I was blanking yeah. out. I was blanking yeah. out. Yeah. I'll take it. 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 And until right. next time, we'll see you all later, man. Peace.